Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope your day's good. Because it's this time for us to continue! Jante 1! What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting <coughs> people again. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, eight somewhat recently. Time to continue our run through Shantae 1 for the Game Boy Color on the Switch. Run through a Game Boy Enhanced mode. Game Boy Advance Enhanced mode. It's a lot of systems at once. We're going to be starting uh, Dungeon 3 today, which is this green one. So get ready for the color green. About now. Did I eat well? Uh, yeah, I had a three meat marinara. Marinara, marinara, however you say it. It was tasty. All right. We left off last time. Getting comfy here, sorry. I also just really like this jam. When we left off last time, we had just gotten right outside of the third dungeon. Ronnie Tops is there waiting for us, and she's gonna help us break in. There you go, I think that's a loop point. All right, what is our situation right now? All right, so we're missing four heart containers, and we know where one is. We have one life left, great. Uh, we have two of the key items. Four items we don't have, two of them are potions. Uh, dance-wise, we have monkey and elephant. We also have the warps to uh, Wandertown and the, the caravan. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm actually debating if I should just burn my last few lives and just respawn here. In fact, I may actually do that. Well, game over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the game. We didn't get very far today. We'll try again next week. So, yeah, uh, getting a game over just recharges your lives. So I figured it was way faster to just do that. The downside is we've lost we don't have max health anymore, but honestly, that was way faster than just getting in the dungeon and losing all our lives. And there's no penalty for it. Like, we haven't lost... Uh, the only penalty is the health we didn't get to keep, which I am losing now anyway, so I should probably move on. Yo, Roddy. We're shaking bacon. Give me a sec to figure this thing out. Ah! Her leg was a key the whole time. There we go. Now listen. Up. The walking nightmares that live in this hole won't see you if. Yes. You stay in the shadows. But, once you're spotted, things will get ugly. Stay hidden as long as possible and you might make it out alive. Cool, we're starting with a stealth mission. Thanks, Roddy, I owe you one. Let's do it. Okay, so we have a new dance to find in here somewhere, at least for uh, warp squids. I 
a lot we're gonna try to find here now. I would not mind a couple extra hearts, too. Since I think I only have one healing potion. And it's a mid. Oh god, this is gonna get annoying, though. I don't think my kick can kill them, right? Oh, actually, no, what? You know what, Will? That will. Kind of forgot we had that. Ooh. Okay, but we do have to be careful of those flames. Okay, I'm assuming only spiders can get through that. Well, that's where we get the spider dance. I assume that's the next dance we're getting this stage. Okay, as long as I keep on top of that, we should be okay dealing with enemies. Ooh, unless that happens. Get some new material, champ. The text box bit's getting old. Wow, what got on up your ass today? I'll in fact do it twice as much now. I will now be doing it for every sentence. Thank you for doing that. No dog piling them in chat, chat. That just came off as incredibly rude. They're a regular. Why is it always Mondays? All right. Okay, we might actually have to use that. I didn't want to pop that. Po oh, what? Huh? Why didn't that kill? That's not good. We may have to pop that potion sooner than I thought. And we can't do this anyways. Sorry about the rudeness, I just had a bad day. Fair enough, but look, man, throw throw shade at me, you're only gonna get it back, man. Having a bad day and trying to be rude to someone else is just gonna make things worse. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, the only reason you didn't get timed out is because I know you know better. I get you don't like the joke, but guess what? I do! <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing it. If you need to just take a break from the chat or the stream, take the break, man. If you're having a bad day, just try to keep the energy, try to find some way to keep that energy away from yourself. Because clearly that's, that's very out of character for you, so. God, the real issue is going to be actually getting around here without getting struck. Okay, let's see here. We've got... We can get that now. I assume the monkey let me up there. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Problem is now we've got two branching paths. I'm not quite sure what leads where. Well, let's start with the top part of the map, I guess, and see what we can work with. Oh god! Oh, that's the shadows thing they were talking about. Okay. But are the skeletons the actual enemy they were warning me about for that? Yes! Interesting. Okay, so it's not quite the stealth mission I thought. That's not too shabby, actually. That looks... Is that a slide? That's a slide. At least she looks like she's having fun. That would have sucked, though. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, that doesn't look good. That's eight damage there, and that's still not dead. Can I even kill them? Twelve. Sixteen. Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot. Oh, that sucks. For those who might not have been here before, uh, that drill kick is four times damage of my hair whip, so that's 16 hair whips. Well, let's pick up the eyeball. Or let's put it in place, I guess. Or not? Come on. I assume this is what they want me to do. There we go. First key. Okay. Problem is we haven't found a locked door yet. And he stayed dead, which is at least one good thing about this. And I forgot about that. There's our locked door. Yeah, this is the Game Boy Color, uh, Shantae, for those that are coming in late. But this is the Switch version of it. Okay, down and or left. This probably leads back to where we start. That's a one-way path. Uh, no, let's, let's stick, let's keep going low. Oh! Try that again. Uh, oh, these blocks. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's my way back up. I don't think this is going to work the way I think it will. Oh no, it's jump on it. It's not shoot. Okay. Well, let's see what's up first before we take it across. Ah, the ceiling. Great. <sighs> this room is gigantic. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Let's take that, at least. Okay, so... Actually, I think I need a monkey to jump on top of this. No, nope, she can do that. Whoop! Wrong way. Okay, come on. Might as well do something while I'm waiting. Go! Oh, this room sucks! What the fuck? Jesus! Oh, 
Oh my god. No. Out of curiosity, John, how would you say this game feels like it is aged as a standalone Game Boy Color game? As a Game Boy Color game, it's still pretty good. But as a Shantae game, based on how the series has gone, it's going to feel dated. That's the best takeaway for it. It's, an, it's a very impressive Game Boy Color game, but most people don't go back to most Game Boy Color games. There are obvious exceptions, but uh, yeah, it's going to feel weird if you're used to the rest of the series. <laughs> for one thing, there's a run button. <laughs> So weird. Probably shouldn't keep doing that. It's gonna get me in trouble. Oh god. Yep, that's why you don't do it. Okay, all that for what? This is something. Another key. Oh, I thought I got it first try. Damn. Should know when to get that lucky. Bingo. Key pose for Ashante. You found a key. I do feel hella lost, though. Mainly because there's no map. Other than the one I, like, that's out of the game. Oh! Could I have skipped that whole thing? I could have! Wow! Okay! Well, we got a warp squid happen anyway, so I guess there's no point. I want to check something first before we move on. Yeah, because it was this one, right? There's just nothing here. Yeah, no, it's just that one spot. According to this map, I looked up, I have no idea where the hell you are. Perfect. <laughs> uh, well, we have no choice but to go back up. Just waiting on the ride. There we go. Okay, so this was a one-way path, so... Let's hope this doesn't backfire. They can't see me. Is it? Oh, I think this is actually the tunnel we started in. Uh, that's what it's looking like. Anyway. Yeah, there's ones we broke. That was where our squid buddy was. This is a present from me to you. How many dances do we have now? Two transformation dances and two warp dances, so four total. We're working on getting dance number five, which should be spider dance. found two of the, I assume, five warp squids in this dungeon. Because I think it's been five in all of them. Alright, and this looks like this is where we came in. Yes, that looks a lot like where we came in. Oh, thank goodness. Topped off health. Oh! Oh, is that a button? Oh, wow! Shit, I barely noticed that. So that's what activates that. OK, 
Okay, we can't go up that way, presumably until we get Spider Dance. And we're gonna deal with this guy. Question. This is the double mint leaf, right? Can I... Will that equal to 16 hits? It does! Oh my god! So it literally just doubles my attack power. Fuck, they really wanted you to use items in this one. All right, well, let's keep that in mind for the boss then. And then maybe let's restock on those next time we're in uh, a town that carries them. All right. Oh! It's down. So we can go up and we can go down. We can really go down, Jesus! Alright, there we go. Locked door. Crap. Well, we're gonna answer for a while here. I completely forgot about doing the A and B dances last time we played, so... If that sounded different from what you remember, that's because I finally pressed A and B. All that for a one-up. That can't be it. No, this, there's a path here. Another key. There's no way it was that easy. Yep, sure enough. What? Oh, but how? Okay, so it wants me to stand over here. They want the eyeball has to be looking to the left. Problem is, no, nope. yeah. Problem is, lining both of the. Uh, never mind. I guess it was just rotating each time it went in, so I wanted to do it four times. Pretty lady. <laughs> I mean, oh, it did count. Damn it. Come on. And, well, I guess I don't need the, the weight this time. We know it's safe. I actually didn't pick up for the fact it was staring at the statue my first time through for some reason. I figured, I thought I had to stand there, because like, or I had to stand on the opposite side. I thought it was really weird that there was a, uh, a statue there in the first place, but yeah. Uh, wait. Huh? Why doesn't this one work anymore? Some of these fake? Yeah, some of these are fake. Oh, wait. Oh, because... No, no, it, it is just that some of them are fake. Okay. Interesting. Damn it. I knew one of those had to be on that. How big is this room? We need another key.
These rooms have been gigantic. That's. Damn it. Yep. I had to keep going up. Hello. How did that not damage you? Oh, you! I, you're in Shantae 5! Neat! I didn't realize that was a throwback. God, you're a pain in the ass to hit, though. That's Batgal. Alright, all that for a one, another one up. Got me something else here other than taking that elevator up. They are in four? Oh, okay. It's, like, it's been a bit since I played through four, so. Five's definitely doing more in my memory. Okay, door that way. We might as well see what's up here. Can I reach that as monkey, or do I have to ride the elevator? I can probably reach that as monkey, but it might be faster to take the elevator. Nope, never mind, got it. That's three of them. Okay. I thought that actually worked first try. Damn. Oh fuck, I think I blocked it myself. Oh. Oh. Just double checking something. Oh, it did come back. Nice. Okay, bounce. Now. Nope. Almost. Got it. Sorry, I was checking something else when the eye came back. I didn't even see it. I was I said I was double checking something. I must have said it too quietly for people to hear it. Okay, we've got another key. Back down still dead. Oh, it keeps going. <laughs> God, the fact that we've gone this far and haven't gotten the dance yet is starting to worry me. I'm afraid we're gonna get blocked somewhere. They've given me full health. That's also always worrisome when they do that. Oh, you again. Oh! They left out the part where I can damage them from back here. There we go. Any chance of a Mario Golf tournament to start off Fortune Cookie this Saturday? Uh, there is no Fortune Cookie this Saturday. Sorry, I updated... Oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay, so I can damage them. Good. 
Hang on, let me focus on this and we'll talk about Saturday. Fuck, missed. I must be doing something wrong other than the whole missing thing. Nope, this... Just because it was missing, all right. Rising Kick would have worked on the low ones, but it wouldn't reach the top one. Oh, that's... okay. Well, I guess we're getting our dance now by the looks of it. Seriously, and after that? Okay. Get out of here. About Saturday. Uh, yeah, so, no cookie on Saturday, but there is a stream. Um, I don't think I can talk about the full details yet, but, uh, we're doing a charity stream on Saturday. Uh, me and a bunch of other people. It's gonna be very stupid. I don't know if the others have talked about it yet, so I don't know if I can say it. Here we go. Thank you for freeing me. Once I was the guardian of this labyrinth, but a terrible creature imprisoned me here. For your kindness, I will teach you a magical dance you can use to foil evil. Watch closely. Looks like that was A, B. Oh, down and B. You can review the dance moves on your subscreen. Practice hard and never forget them. I assume you're gonna also teach me how to dance if I don't know yet. Are you having trouble performing? Yep. Same thing. All right. Time for our next transformation. Spider. Spider can climb webs. And that's about it. Actually, can't even climb walls, huh? All right. What's in here? It's the other side of that area we got to before, but it's telling me to go up. That would be why, all right. Well, what else but monkey? All right, that's our, that's four. For those who know this game, uh, am I able to get the fifth squid that's in here now, or is it another backtrack one, like the other two dungeons have been? Nope, backtrack, yeah, of course. I'm assuming they want me to go right, but I'm gonna see if I can do this anyways. I guess there's no point though, because I can't do that part. Even though it looks like I can. Alright. All, all fifth squids are backtracked save for the last labyrinth. That eh, makes sense. And knowing that they do that. I played this a couple weeks ago and got all of them on my first time. Your first time through a dungeon? That's physically impossible. I 
Maybe I cheese this No, literally, some of them are out of range. You can get four per dungeon, but there's a fifth one in every dungeon. Yeah, all fifth ones need Harpy. That's what I figured. But we're not gonna get that until we get to the fourth dungeon. So, what if we... This was a... We did everything in this room already, right? Because this was... A key and a bunch of other stuff. Guess we're just safe to just keep going. Here is the problem now, though. I've seen paths we can climb with Spider, but I don't think I remember where any of them are. I think there was one to the left. Yes! Even before John accidentally uses the warp dance by accident? You have to type so much to make that happen, the odds are really fucking low. It's like six inputs. That's probably why they did it. I don't have a key, do I? Shit. Nope. Somewhere else the spider's needed. So what's different about the GBA enhanced version of uh, Shantae? Uh, brighter colors, and there's an extra dance you can get. Otherwise, it is more or less the same. So where was that other spider pad? Right there. I can't believe they added that fucking dee -dee 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 sound effect. Here's our key we needed. Except we need two eyes this time. No! Okay, we're missing something. We don't know what what we need key what, like for the eyes. We can experiment because there's only so many options, or we can look around and see if there's what gives the actual answer. I'm afraid of falling down here and having to do a lot of backtracking. Hmm. <laughs> let's try, I guess let's try the same direction both times and let's see what happens. Or I could do that instead. Shit. That's up. That's down. Ah, oh, really? And we know it's not stare at each other. Carefully. Carefully. If it is double up, this should be it. Yep, it's double up. 
So where is the actual thing that tells you that? Are you just supposed to notice that the other eyes have been up except for the one that required you looking a different way? Oh, right, the slide. I think he's supposed to be scared of the rock dangling above him. Oh my god, it's a sort of Damocles situation. That's hilarious. But yeah, it's, I guess that makes the most sense, the fact that he's just worried about being crushed. It's actually kind of funny, though. Wrong button. That's monkey. They will do something to make their jaw drop. What it is in the con is context sensitive. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense now. The fact that people point out the boulder crushing them is that they're supposed to look surprised from that makes a lot of sense. So the spider can't attack currently, so that means that's not what we're needing for the boss fight. So what do we actually need? What was the point of the two small ones if you're gonna give me a big one? Ah, oh, whatever. That's funny. This is the Simmerstone Chamber, but no sign of risky boots. If I'm quick enough. God damn it, why did you talk to yourself? Soliloquy always gets you in trouble. Ha! Nice try, girly girl. But this simmer stone comes with me. Its magical fire will keep my water boiling forever. Finally, the tea I've always wanted. And yet, not again. Aye! Bye, Risky. That's a robot. Oh, I actually do need spider. Uh, I get it. I get it. Come on. Come on. Down you go. So I'm not damaging it this time. It is entirely the pits. Done yet? Sick. Oh, I can't pick it up while I'm transformed. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine. So now you beat it. Mind if I mention something about that boss? Go for it. Yep. What's I beating the boss is totally cool. I did it! I got the Simmerstone! Well, I knew with my help you'd make out okay, so what's the reason for collecting these? You just whipped it to death? So, wait, you got- It's the fucking- I guess I can't say much because I screwed up the elephant dungeon a bit, but like, it's the fucking spider dungeon! Of course the spider's gonna do something! Yeah, actually, a bunch of people- a bunch of people are fucking telling me that's what happened. They- they just fought the boss normally. Wow, okay. What did Montara just send me? So I didn't know you could do that. I saw the background and figured I could use spider to dodge things, but I just attacked it in the stomach. I thought it was just for dodging. No! You- there were buttons! There were buttons!
Oh my god. Alright, well. We figured it out. We got through it. So what are the reason for collecting these stones anyway? Kind of a dangerous hobby, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was a design. Eh, fair. To be fair, those didn't look like any other button in the game. That's actually why I walked over them. <laughs> Cause I'm like, hey, that's different. Oh, hey, the door opened. Well, guess I gotta make them fall in the pit. I thought I couldn't whip them. I don't have any choice. Risky Boots is gonna use them for some sort of doomsday weapon. I've already kept her from getting the Dribble Stone, the Golem Stone, and the Simmer Stone. If I can head her off one last time, Skeletown and the others should be safe. That girl's bad news, all right. She's one of the reasons we move our caravan each night. In fact, we're moving out in the, in the morning, so if you want to visit me again, you'll have to track our caravan down first. In the meantime, you should head for Mount Pointy. Why? What's there? Oh, yeah, actually, I will say one thing about the boss fight just then. I thought when you open the pits that it would just, like, pop down a little bit and then you could just wail on its head while it was trying to get free. I didn't think it was going to keep falling and take damage. I thought it was going to get them stuck. When I saw it take damage, I'm like, okay, that's how we fight this boss. A daytime cycle and a nighttime cycle have both happened since we've been standing here chatting with Roddy. The Twinkle Stone. You've got the other three and that's the only one left. Uh... You don't have any warmer clothes, do you? I wouldn't even want to wear warm clothes. This is one of those times I wish I had my camera on because I literally just I just turned my head and stared straight at the camera. Heh, <laughs> no reason. See you around. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be a bad thing for her to discover. She's probably never seen snow. Okay, progress is saved. Let's also save in game two. So we know that's not an issue. So here's the question now. Do we walk and hope for some day-night cycle shifts, or do we just straight up warp to the caravan? Because I think that's where Mount Pointy was, to the right of the caravan. Hmm. Alright, well, let's try this. So the dance is down, up, left, left, A, B. But I don't know if it works at daytime. Down, up, left, left, A, B. No, it does! Sick! Uh, do we have any damage to heal? Half a heart. We would have done that boss damageless if I hadn't just run right into him at the very beginning. How are we doing on money? 407. That's not enough for the next attack move. So I think that was 500 we need for that. So we could gamble, but the problem is we don't have any more warp dances to get where we want. Because I would probably do the dice one at this point. It would be faster than doing the actual dance. I also don't have the... And again, neither of those warps. Hmm. Try a rank dance again. No, I'm good. That there's no way we're getting that one twice.
All right, let's see if I'm right about Mount Pointy. All right, these guys are asleep at night. This is actually perfect. I can skip a bunch. That was the shortcut path that we found earlier. And now we're back here. This can't be right. Yeah, because this is gonna... Yeah, did it actually put us on the opposite side? Ah, shit. Yeah, if we see the dungeon this way, then we've gone the wrong way. Yep. Crap, caravan's in a new spot then. We're going the long way. They did say they were gonna move, I just didn't, I, you know, I just hope that wasn't actually the case. So if anything, I probably should've used that as a chance to go back and use it, get another warp dance. Because there's some backtracking we can do now. We can probably climb trees as spider now, huh? Yes! Remarkably unhelpful otherwise. Can't get up there. Nor is it likely necessary. Switch back. We already did that, I'm pretty sure. Actually, wait, did we? Is this the double mint one? No, what is this one? This was the shortcut. I wanna see Spider Shante slide down a hill? All right, well, you know what? Now I do too, hang on. I expected more, especially after the elephant. The elephant one was pretty good. Uh, this is probably where I need Harpy for to go over here and get something. Spider Shantae got a different makeover when compared to later Shantae games. Yeah, because they basically made an arachne, didn't they? Or whatever that that species is. Like a humanoid spider. Uh, I think there was something up here before. Just checking, just in case. Yeah, we're fine. Damn it. Uh, 
the real question is this. Even if this is the way to Mount Pointy, like, I don't remember there being any spider spot. Oh, I do remember you, though. And this weird thing. Oh, right! That's a... pit. So that, I think, was the power-up room. There we go. So we shouldn't need to worry about that. Oh, damn it. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of, unless the spider can actually climb that. And I, it looks like that's probably what it can do. Since so far it's climbed on anything that was background. Yep. Clever. Hey, a firefly! Five out of twelve found, almost at halfway. I don't think we can make that jump up there. Oh, wow. Right, nighttime, they're way stronger. Mount Pointy? Yep. Welcome to the ice zone. Oh god. Yeah, four hits, not enough. Two of those does seem to work. They've got five or six hit points then. I'm beginning to wonder if we should have the next move by now from Water Village. Whoop, that spikes. Uh, nope, don't think I can make that jump. Ah, that'd be why. You think you're so clever because you've got an igloo. Before we climb up. Ah, just make sure. He's our Canadian brother, don't we live in igloos? Mm, no, it just feels like it some days. That sucks! Oh, that double sucks!
And with Hedhog. Oh crap. He's gonna pick a fight, maybe I shouldn't now. Okay. Be a lot more care. Hey! <laughs> well. One good thing. What was that hiccup? Uh, that was my screensaver kicking in. That was my, my uh, power saver mode kicked in. So that's why that happened. Sorry. That's half of them. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. So this is the wrong way. Whoa! We can't go that way. Unless there was something I missed that we could use with Spider, but it didn't even look like I could stand on the ground. Yeah, there's no solid ground to stand on. Jeez, that just fucking launches you too. Okay, so we're here, and we can't do jack all, so... No. Fuck. I may just take the death and not use the potion. Since it's not necessary. Okay, so have I missed some... Maybe I do have to go back to one of the towns. That's the only other logical solution I can think of right now. I didn't see anything that looked like I could climb in spider mode. Unless I can climb this. And climb down. Climb it, but it is it's otherwise not that helpful. Yeah, nothing really here. Hmm, well, guess I gotta go back to town. Before I warp back anywhere. Okay, I can clear that, good. Just thinking. Alright, yeah, let's let's go to towns and start asking people. Mimic probably knows, but I don't have the ability to go there immediately. Let's go chat with Bolo, I guess. Down, up, right, left, A, B. Let's chat with some people. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I don't think you're gonna tell me anything really helpful. Let's go chat with Bolo then. Oh no, let's actually take a bath first. We could actually really use that. Topped up. house. Hey, Bolo. You ever Mount Pointy? Yeesh, that's chilly. Oh, wow, thanks. Helpful as always. How much money do I need for the next combat item? I'm pretty sure it's 500. Yep, 500. Well, then attack to charge up. Charge up A. Okay. Come 
Well, let's go see Uncle Mimic then. Can I? Hmm. Oh, first off, I can probably get that Firefly now, so maybe we should go get that. I'm sure it'll be nighttime by the time we get there. Secondly, where the fuck is this leading me? Oh, we have not been up here. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. Now we can do a lot of backtracking by the looks of it. What do we got here? Uh, that needs spider. This must be the elephant tote. Oh, I can okay, it's a special, okay. So each dance has its own uh, transformation extra ability as well. This is the one for the elephant. This talisman will allow me to stomp in elephant form. There we go. But since it looks like I can also do something with spider up here, let's go check. No, I cannot. That is a monkey climbing area then instead. Nope, nope, wrong dance. Thought it was a tote bag? Yeah, not quite. Oh, but I can't. <laughs> there we go. Where is this taking me? Oh god, where am I now? is this? That's a bad place to stop. Where the... Where is this? What the fuck? <laughs> this must be where a firefly will be at night. So I guess let's make sure we come back here at night. Or should I just wait? Yeah, I just uh, had waited. Yep, yeah, firefly. Now this is at seven. What is that sound? What was that sound? Okay, so what else is up here then? Uh, apparently nowhere, because I cannot damage that. I'm gonna assume elephant can't damage that with an earthquake. Be convenient if I could. Nope, that just smashes. Alright, well, wherever that is, apparently that leads somewhere else. Probably a shortcut. Yeah, Umber, we're fine. I don't know why I keep calling you Umber, because you be Rambo. Yeah, Rambo, we're fine.
Hmm. Okay, so... We've got one of the four totes. Or talismans, I guess. I think we're otherwise clear with around here. I don't think there's anything else I can reach here. Yeah, nothing that way. Oh shit, that's not a s- okay, we're fine. I can probably get the Firefly at the end of this too now, but the problem is, I don't think I'm gonna make it in time before it switches to daytime. That would put us at 8, I think. Time I make that jump. Makes me nervous every time. Oh, this is the spot. Oh, run. Don't don't randomly stop working. That scares me every time that happens. And of course, I made it as soon as it turned to daytime. Crapple! Uh. We're just waiting here for a while now. We might as well at this point. I think if I stand right here, it'll spawn, right? <laughs> Money grind? I mean, I, uh, I guess I could do that off the spiders. That's not a bad idea, actually. You know what? Yeah. Oh, I can't I can't hop off until I get to there. There we go. Well, something to do while we wait. And I guess we top off our health at the same time too. I'm mean, gonna taking that ladder path down there too after this, because I want to see what the heck is that way. I think I need a monkey for previously to do anything there, and then we never came back. God, I feel like I'm playing Kid Icarus right now. <laughs> I almost feel like this is a nod to Kid Icarus with the way these guys spawn in. All it needed to be was four snakes at a time. Alright, we have enough for the next part. Crap. Uh, now. Shantae! Damn it! Ah! There, now they won't spawn because there's they're all items. Puts us at eight. 
Four more to go. I think, uh, you know what? I actually am going to go into the forest. I want to check something here. I will come back to this. Oh, first off. Cool. Secondly, where is that spot I'm thinking of that has a health container? I forget if I need Spider or Harpy for that. I think someone might have said... Someone told me both last time. Here. This one I remember. Awesome. Three heart containers missing. And four firefly fireflies missing. That's not too shabby, honestly. Trey gave us the hints for a couple of them in the past, or in the last stream, but otherwise we've mainly found them on our own. That needed Harpy. Let's see what this does. Oh god, move, move! Oh god! Not that much! There we go. So I know I can get through the forest here otherwise with no issues. I don't know if there's anything up in these trees, which worries me a little. This I can break. As we've discovered last stream. Hey John, I was kind of thinking if you want to do Let's Plays of these on YouTube, starting with this one isn't that bad and more. Do a review of this one leading into the other games. Uh, I think I've- if I do Shantae, I think I know what I'm gonna do, but I've got a couple new ones recorded or in line to be recorded that this- if anything Shantae related won't show up for a while. But yeah, no, we talked about this last stream, I was debating if, uh, I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Block! Uh, if I do do anything with it, it'll be- quite a while from now, because I got other stuff I gotta work on and have partly recorded anyways. Nothing. 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 Nothing! This thing. Almost jumped into that thing. I just popped in my mind from it. That, that's cool. Appreciate the heads up, I guy. Appreciate the suggestion. Let's 
So this room, I never, I don't think I did this on stream. I think this was specifically something I did when I was playing it for top-down perspective. You can get, there's stuff going on at the top here. I assume this is the shortcut to uh, the desert town, Oasis Town that they talked about earlier in the game. But they said something about it needing to be burned. So I don't know what exactly this means in the context of my current skill set. Five LPs have been really good, by the way. Your soul energy, like right now, is all equally as enjoyable as your energy with Kokon. So this is the thing. Those, this, the reason I always do the first segment by myself is to make sure I can still do solo LPs. That's literally why I kept doing it. Hi. What the fuck? Is this what the fireballs needed for? That's wrong button. It's a telephone pole, Gremlin. Yeah, it looks like a telephone pole. Well, what do you want? It's not that, apparently. You need cloud. Oh, that makes sense. Let's give it a shot, then. I didn't pick up cloud. It's the only one I didn't get. Shit! <laughs> a fucking course! Ugh... Alright, well, guess that's later. Yeah, we didn't pick up Cloud and we didn't pick up something else. I don't know what the other one is, and like two potions we didn't pick up. Or rather, we don't have in our inventory. I'm still not sure what they meant by needing fire to clear the path, though. Well, I guess that also wasn't the shortcut. So now here's the question. Is there a firefly in this area? Oh, Vanish Cream was the other thing? Oh, so that we had that, but we, we ran out of it. Oh, shit! I thought I could hug the wall. Damn it. That sucks. Check up here first. No. Okay, uh do we use our squids to get back to or to rather to get the warp dance back to uh town? To scuttle town? I think at this point that might be the solution. Because at least then we it, it's still a bit of a walk and we need to get to Oasis Town, but it's it's an option. Down, since I had to walk through all this. I actually had to walk through a lot to get back to Scuttletown, unfortunately. We 
get through here, and then we have to go through the, the field as well. No real shortcut way. I guess the harpy would be the shortcut other than dancing. This harpy could just fly over shit. The problem is gonna become now, uh... Figuring out where remaining... Nope. Oh, maybe it's not a problem. Hang on. I was say, a problem is gonna be figuring out where... That's Monkey. Figuring out where our remaining fireflies and our remaining heart containers are gonna be. Oh, hey! Isn't this literally what we were trying to do earlier? Yeah, this should lead to that underground area. Yep! Nice! Shortcut. Excellent. Excellent! That'll be helpful. Yeah, anytime I bump into a tree stump that is solid and I can't walk through it, that means I can break it as the elephant. So we just have to keep that in mind. And we should be in business. <coughs> it looks like actually get let's get the warp in uh God, in Scuttle Town. And then actually we should be okay because at that point, uh, we'll take a break. We can warp right to uh, Watertown to get that new move. We can buy some thunderclouds or storm puffs, I think they're called. Oh God, but I'm not gonna make it if I keep hitting those things. Yeah, if you wanna give me some health, I would appreciate that. If you would give me some health, I would greatly appreciate it. No? Okay. Nope, not a single drop. Alright, well, bye. Jeez. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap! John! Ugh! Yeah, I got greedy. That's my own fault. Now I have to do that entire run again. That's frustrating. Here's the real problem. If I get a game over, we have to do a lot more backtracking than we've been doing right now. So let's make it back to town. Helps when you can actually see the ground. There we go. Warp Squid Hut. Yeah, let's do that first and foremost. You found my baby! Uh, that is my baby, right? It's so hard to tell. Sure. Keep them coming! Yeah, I found another thing that looks like your baby. Yeah, I'm sure this is probably right. Found them all, now I'll teach you something very useful. Watch carefully. Down, up, left, right. That's a lot shorter and actually what I thought the dances were gonna be for warping. Actually, no, 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 don't bother with the bathhouse. We have zero lives. Save room.
Alright. Now we made the save. Now, it's not a big deal if we do this. Now we can reset the live counter properly. Just this isn't skippable, so we got this slow pan on Risky every time. Here we go, four lives and back in town. Before I go to break, I have to go buy that Storm Puff now. I will forget otherwise. And I hit the wrong button. Come on. You say it as if you want to skip it? I mean, I've seen it enough. Okay, pike balls we've got. We don't have any vanish cream. Might as well just have it so our inventory's full. But I need to make sure I have at least 500 gems, so we'll stop there. There we go. Now we have everything except for the two, vial one and three. Okay, there we go. Now we can take a break. Alright, we're gonna go to break. We'll uh, do Art Block, we'll grab some CoComs. When we come back, uh, we'll walk around town a little bit, figure out where we need to go next exactly, or what we need to do to go next. But I think we're gonna do a little bit of backtracking some more. So we're gonna go back and get whatever's behind that Lightning Rod character. Is probably a heart container if I had to guess. Uh, then we'll go to Waterland, or Watertown, get the next attack move, and then we'll kind of wander around from there. How many pups are in a single purchase? They can be a bit hard to aim, so maybe a spare might be so. You get 20. <laughs> so, I think we'll be okay. But yeah, the game even says they're hard to aim, so. The game specifically points that out. All right, eggs, Captain Joe, Bramnet, Captain Joe, Tails, Faraga, and Captain Joe. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. Mario 3DS 64, thank you for the new sub. Wow, oof, everyone else, the list is a little too long to read. But thank you all for subbing. God damn it, Will, I just saw your message. If she's a half genie, does that mean she has lamps instead of legs? No. Bad. Bad, Will. And Bee Master, good luck on tomorrow. Alright, your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What's going on in the Dropbox? I have not so subtly been warned that uh, one of the eggs is disgustingly loud. So, actually I got a couple that are marked as loud. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks fun. From Nerd, Wesker the Beekeeper. You will give me a bees? That's illegal! I, I don't think it's illegal to give someone bees. Ikaboo with poor Princess Tim. <laughs> Ow. Tonight's questionable sponsor, volume warning on this one. And today's 
Game clearing. Is brought to you by Supreme Rosa John Children's Vitamins. There may not be a lot of vitamins in hamburger, but there are plenty of vitamins in Doinky Boinkers? Burger. Please don't make burgers out of Doinky Boinkers or whatever the fuck that said. Also, maybe don't buy Rosa's Children's Vitamins. Also, Rosa, don't sell vitamins. What the fuck? Bowsy with where is he? Where the fuck is Fred? <laughs> I get that. Fuck him. I get that. Nerd Art and Games with Now You're Thinking with Eggs. Hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm an egg. No, you're a potato. Uh, Green Day Rock with a charged up sports idea. What is happening? I'm not quite sure where to go. It's sports right now, which isn't the beach. The beach actually would have been the easiest one to do right now. If I may offer a suggestion. Go for it. Why is he still here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Waluigi had won any of the polls, he probably we probably would have went in that direction. The banjo music would have been there at the very least. They'll make your boobs grow up big and strong, though. Uh, I guess they will. You want to block bullets with them? Jesus. Huh? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. You know, this is fair. Well, well. How long is this? We'll we'll talk about this. This one had a note on it. <sighs> so That's not that bad. Okay. So this is not an egg. This is from Random Face. Uh, labeled. So this made it into the or that made it into the highlight reel. I believe this is referring to one of the first eggs they did. Uh, Are you my brother, that went up in the highlight reel on Sunday. <laughs> And how much they have changed since then, since I believe they're on HRT now. So, oh, the boob manity made it into the Twitch highlight reel on Proton John's YouTube channel. And I wanted to remind everyone what my voice sounds like now rather than a year ago. <laughs> so, um, thank you for putting my clip on that highlight reel and. Oh, it's a boob manatee! <laughs> least you can, least you can laugh oh, at it. I'm gonna die now. See ya. Yeah, we're not. Don't, don't, don't make, don't make videos like this a regular occurrence. But this was a very fair reason to make that egg. <laughs> Thanks, random face. Because that wasn't actually an egg, but it makes sense why that was posted. All right, from Jake Zero, lethal egg. No mercy! Wounds I won't heal. Cars the flesh. Egg. Uh, da, 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 da. Game fan with always pay attention to the road. Oh, it's burnout. Oh. It was gonna be that stupid. I was that stupid. Oh no, I think I think we. Yeah, I was very stupid on that turn. All right, this one has a big volume warning on this one. This is the note I have. Uh, after countries and western finest and you are one fucked up fuck, turn volume way down to viewers and the submitters. Please fucking do audio balancing. My ears are fucking angry at this. This is unacceptable. So this must be really bad from what I'm hearing. Actually, I don't even who I don't even know whose egg this is because it's marked off. Oh, it's from Crystallizer. Just play the piano. What? Oh, this is quiet. So this must get really fucking loud at this point. You can play that shit. Hey, hey, hey. That there is country western's finest. You are one Oh, yeah. No. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do not do that. No disgustingly loud eggs like that. I will shut down the carton if I have to. Do not do that. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, okay. So, Mayo just sent me an image of the waveform. Here's what the waveform looks like in Audacity. 
Normal, normal, normal. Really fucking loud! Please balance your audio. That's all I ask. <laughs> well, I ask many things, but I feel like this one's kind of important. If that was a, yeah, I, if that was meant to be deliberate, then no, I am about. I'm saying absolutely not. That's like one of the rules of the card, and don't do shit like that. No fucking jump scares. No super loud noises like that. That's not funny, and it's not fair to viewers. So. That's how you get banned from the cart if you keep doing that. I'll count this one as a mistake. I will count this as a learning experience a mistake, but you only get one. Uh, da, 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 da. And we've looped. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some co-coms. We'll go to Art Block, and we will continue Shantae 1. See you guys in a bit. It was it was a mistake. That's fine, Crystallizer. Just just a heads up. Like, be very careful when editing eggs in the future, please. Sorry if I sounded rude, but or like stern, but I just needed to get the point across. Hello again, children. You call them children? Yes. Good answer. <laughs> Their behavior has labeled them. <laughs> wow, no, I wouldn't say that. I'm, I'm legitimately, I, I legitimately believe they do, that was a mistake. That was just like a first timer mistake. And I know they haven't done oh, many eggs, so yeah. Oh, I thought you were referring to that, okay. No, no, no I just mean in, in general. Including us, we're all just large children. Everyone is fucking stupid, including us. I'm a grown ass man. So am I. I just turned 2012. Age, age doesn't matter, 
Fuck all! Absolutely. Really, absolutely. Really not. does not. Like, as, as I am now, you know, just continuing to exist, I'm starting to really understand the mentality of just when you just become an adult and you just keep doing whatever you want. And, like, it kind of really repaints people who you, like, when you're younger and you see, I don't know, just, like, old men, like, still hanging out in a comic shop or playing games, and, like, as a kid, you're like, come on, you're not cool anymore, grow out of it. And then you get that at age, and it's like, no, I'm just doing this because I want to have fun. Fuck you, kids. Yeah, this no, for me. You, eventually, like, when you're, like, growing <laughs> up doesn't matter. You can be, I, I know people older than me that are less mature than I am, quote unquote. But uh, the main thing is, like, eventually when you get to a certain age, you realize, why the fuck do I care about certain things? And then you kind of relax a bit more, usually. And then, like, you just seem a lot more relaxed as a, res as a result. Or some people can go in the opposite direction. They become more wound up. But usually it's a case of like, you get to a point where you're like, I stop caring about like drama. I stop caring about like what people think about this certain aspect and then just mellow out. And it's it's honestly one of the best parts about growing up is finally realizing why the fuck did I care about this? It's like one of the hidden perks. Without giving a fuck about drama shit at a certain age. I don't know. It's it's not like there's a switch that goes off. Uh, it's it happens in diff at different times in different amounts for different types of things. My behavior online and in person has been different for all of my life, and it has come closer and spread apart throughout various points of my life. And like, I'm definitely me. I don't give much of a crap about what other people think about the things that I do. I definitely find it difficult to share things I like. There's still that little fear of a certain amount of judgment. And, I don't know, like, relationships, dating, just, that's completely a whole different ball field. Cocom feed should be up for you. Mm -hmm. Are you both oh, in? Yeah, you are age, both in. There we go. Age absolutely does not equal maturity. I was playing Warcraft when I was 16, and I had people mistaking me for a 32-year-old at the time. Because <laughs> of how I behaved there. <laughs> and now that I'm 32, I get people being like, what are you, a child? Like, fuck you! Equilibrium. <laughs> Alliance or Horde? Ah, why you gotta make me choose? I like, I'm, I'm sorry, I like the dwarves and the drane. The drani. The dranos. Trolls are great. But they're, they're just one race. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I was about to read the first donation and then I, I already regret it. Meganerd yeah. says, My mom proposed this idea to me when I mentioned grilled cheese and tomato soup being pizza, so now I propose it to you, mods and chat. Is grilled cheese dipped in salsa a quesadilla? Sure. If if the pizza thing counts, then yeah, the quesadilla thing counts. I yeah, I can't I can't see an argument against that. Like if you just want to get that pedantic with terms, you can stretch it, it covers. If we're allowing the pizza thing to count, then it's only fair. Uh, but if we're not counting the pizza, then absolutely not. <laughs> That's the hinge of it. Are you are we counting are we pizza as a sandwich? No, no. If we count, if grilled cheese and tomato soup counts as pizza. Oh yeah, that, that doesn't count as pizza. Who's saying that? That that, that was a discussion Everybody? we had like last year. Was that on disc only? Yeah, that was disc only. It was like the first episode. Yeah. It was either the first episode or pretty close to the first one. Yeah, no, that was a big discussion we had for a while. It might have even been during the actual uh, marathon. Might have been. Uh, Zan Rising says, Hey, John, so I was attacked by a pizza tonight. Wow, that was... I didn't expect them to link up. Uh, long story, I work at a pizza parlor. Customer ordered an extra large pan pizza with tangy poly sauce. Uh, right when I was making the first cut, the poly sauce went right into my eye. Oh, no. I was laughing, crying for a good while. Well, as long as you're not hurt, Zan, damn. Yeah, it's got a sting, though, that, at least. That could have gone very worse. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, 18 year resident of New Mexico here. Yes, it is a quesadilla, but it's pronounced the English style. Quesadilla. I will accept that. I will accept that as compromise. Uh, New York, New York Islanders say, well, we got shut up by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's hope we can force this to a game, seven game series. Man, everyone was going nuts about that save that happened the other day. So, I mean, you got uh, something going on there, the Islanders. Fury says, hey, John, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Fury. So I'm stealing, I mean, asking for luck this coming year, especially because I'm getting my tonsils removed on Thursday, hopefully. On the plus side, I get to rest for two paid weeks and read and play video games. Well, recovery's never that fun, but at least you get to relax and are, are getting paid time off, so that's important. So good yeah. luck with that, Fury. Good luck with surgery. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Hopefully you get Happy some luck. Birth. Uh, Bleach Bummer. Hey, John. First off, made it safely home from my flight from Hawaii. Second off, if you remember way back, I asked if I could make one of your John alts into the professor class in Disgaea 5 and chat nominated librarian John. Well, approaching the finale stream and thought I'd share how she is looking stat-wise, although might level her up to 100 before then if you don't mind seeing. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I don't see, I can't tell if there's any spoilers here other than, you know, damage, so. She has gun. <laughs> For her neutral special, she wields a gun. Quick note, if the 100% critical seems off to you and others, let's just say I know an in-game curry recipe for a guaranteed 100% crit rate and how to make it last for 100 battles. We'll give it away in case people want to learn it on their own. Ah! Okay, well then, headshots. Constant headshots. Librarian knew how to aim. Cool. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning also donated with eight... 8-8. Eight, eight. Omitsu says, I got back from Aruba at 5 a.m. Eastern. Travel day was hell. I can only imagine if you got back that early. Ugh. But now at least you're home and can relax now. Let's go to Art Block. Art Block starts right here with a post that actually was added on Saturday, but uh, was on Twitter instead. From Crystal Clear Arts. Hi, this is the first time I'm posting something here. I'll try to post something here from time to time, but anyway, since Danganronpa is going to be on Switch, I've been watching Tom Fox play the second one, I decided to make an uh, alternate universe about TRG being masterminds. I was inspired by a friend on Twitter who draws, uh, who draw Tomokuma, I assume it's Tom. Uh, so here is Mastermind Proton John and Mastermind Rosa John for a bonus. I don't know if I'll do something with Rosa, but I'll find a way. Uh, also, I was listening to the Ballad of Sarah Berry when I drew her. That's why her outfit looks like a prom dress. These are super well done. I like the long coat I've got going on here. That doubles as a hoodie. Nicely done. I like the mask on the side. We've got the, the tube that matches and everything. This is cool. And Rosa looks pretty good here, too. I like that the eye is like the sash around it for like a prom dress. That's Those are a lot of really neat touches on this. And the Ojo Sama laugh. Yeah, exactly. Gotta have that down if you're gonna be a mastermind. Good shit, Crystal Clear. Good shit. I look like they would fit in Kingdom Hearts. I don't know anything about that. That's just the black and white color scheme, which is very, very prevalent <laughs> in Kingdom Hearts. Very. Thank you, Crystal Clear. These are, these are awesome. Next up. From Captain Zeno. It's a spiky pineapple. Here's a no-pawn version of Joanna. I had to think for a bit about what armor to give her, so I just used one of my current armor sets. Kind of regret it now, as drawing the chess piece made me hate the basil goose. I don't know how to say that, basil juice. On a whole new level, but aside from that, I'm happy with this. Hopefully you like it. No idea. <laughs> head, Kulu headpiece alpha, torso, basil male alpha, hands, wrath, heart, braces alpha, torso, Odegaran, coil alpha, and weapons, sworn rapiers plus. So Joanna is the uh, Monster Hunter alt, so that would be why they're all Monster Hunter themed armor pieces. Cool. Thank you, Xeno. Followed up, also from Xeno. with a giant hand. Also this, this was honestly just a shitpost spawned from someone joking about a pawn pawn that could fit in the palm of your hands. 
This is why you don't give me ideas. Palm, palm, pawn, pawn does not quite roll off the tongue as well. Palm, palm. Palm, palm. Sounds really bad at that point. Thank you, Xeno. Next up, the shirt cut meme, aka your characters in different cleavage flavors. We've got side boob, inner side boob, boob window, under boob, and terms of service from Junko. Well, I've been seeing a lot of artists on Twitter doing their shirt cut meme, so I decided to give it a try as well with Rosa John. Credit to Druzzy for this meme. Oh, and also for the last one that is covered because of terms of service, y'all have to go to my Twitter to see what I drew for the free space down below. Why is the side boob bigger than the other ones? Because Rosa is whatever size she wants to be. If she wants to be bigger, she can be. Don't stop her, she's a shapeshifter. And also, yeah, uh, the Terms of Service one? Yeah, good call on that one, Junko. Uh, it is the, uh, my hair is covering my boobs style look. So, uh, good call on not putting that on the burr. Thank you, Junko. Next up, from Storm. So I haven't done sprite work in a while, so I thought I'd do a Game Boy Color Shantae, which shading and darkening her skin tone would be more in line with her more traditional tan skin. Uh, I believe that is actually, it's because specifically we're playing the GBA version, it lightens all the colors up, including her skin color. I think in the actual Game Boy Color mode, it is more so this shading, this color. Yeah, it I, is. Yeah, we had a discussion about this last week, if I remember correctly. On the topic of weird live-action He-Man, here are two ads that aired a few years back in the UK. Yeah, we talked about the Money Supermarket ads on Saturday. Oh, but we didn't talk about these. I wish we had, actually, because I remember these. And if you want more weird licensed character ads, Direct Line are a UK insurance company. This is the one that was confusing uh, Money Supermarket with. Who have a Bumblebee, Donatello from Ninja Turtles, and Robocop ad. These all still air. Yeah, I've seen the Donatello and Robocop ones. They're, they're very entertaining ads for insurance. It's a weird, it's a weird fit. Thank you, Storm. Next up. Oh, okay. From Doc Scythe, full story here. Hello all, this will be my first post on this here Buru. Well, I'm not an artist in the traditional sense, I am a studying amateur writer. So when I saw Proton John doing a writing stream, this was Wednesday, I knew this was my chance to try something new and further add to my writings. I've tried my best to keep the original spirit of the stream by writing off the cuff with almost no planning or serious editing. I've also kept the genre shifts and characters in the order they appeared in the stream. However, eagle-eyed readers will notice that I may or may not have cut a character from their role because I got three pages in and remembered that they were the rival. Uh-oh. Anyways, I've written <laughs> four out of eight genres, couldn't finish due to school. I plan on finishing it soon. Any feedback would be excellent. Thanks. P.S. John, you've solved the conundrum I've had for a while. I was trying to figure out how to do a writing stream without making it boring in the vein of a game dev stream. And it was stumped until I saw the stream. Thanks. I mean, well, here's the thing. To do a writing stream, you can't do what you wanted to write about, probably. You have to make it, like, a creative exercise, essentially. And that's all that was. But I'm glad that it apparently inspired a bunch of people. This is the first page, uh... Of the of what they've written, the whole link is there. I'm not gonna be able to read all of this because we do have a text limit for what we read on uh, on Art Block. But I will read this first couple paragraphs here to kind of get you set up for this. So, main character must say, starting theme, film noir. When I woke up, the white sunlight that blinded my eyes like a CRTV left on the night, left on in the night. The sun used to shine yellow, but as a meal made more and more bad puns, my life slowly turned into black and white, with the sound of sad trumpets playing endlessly in my mind now. But it wasn't the sunlight that woke me up. It was a knocking at my office door. I could have mustered the energy to let them in, being face down on the floor, prone. So... <laughs> sorry. So after several minutes of incessant knocking, the visitor finally let themselves into the office with, while my prostrate body on the floor. I finally turned my head to see who let themselves in. High heels, a dress with a jeweled brooch, and a mustache. It was Luigi Mario, the retired sidekick turned Ghostbuster. Mama Miss Say! Mama Miss Miss Say! He said, looking bewilderedly at my body strewn across the floor. What do you want? I cried out crankily. Or cried out cranky. I heard from a, my friend Detective Pikachu. They told me you could help me find my wife, Daisy. That's right, I'm a detective. Turns out all my video game puzzle solving skills were also good at solving mystery cases. Little did I know that this one needed a game genie to get through. I sighed. I sighed my so-called classic sigh, got up from my comfortable floor, and went to sit behind my desk. I gestured my hand as an indication for him to sit down. 
I'll stop there, but... Uh, interesting writing. You've definitely got the film noir feel down better than I did. I'll tell you that much. Mine barely counts as film noir. Nice and done, duo. Thank you for the story. I'll try to check out the rest later. Next up, from Andy. Bonalina. Uh, she's the second character for my take on the shirt cut meme. I tried some new coloring techniques after importing all my copic markers in Eclipse Studio, and I'm really satisfied with the way her and my recent Pertune picture came out. It's almost like I'm enjoying digital now. Wow. Wow, it's almost like you spent, like, what? You're almost a year now of doing it? Amazing. Shocking. Shocking what practice can do. I already said it on Twitter, but I'm officially claiming Bunnelina as my spirit animal. Yeah, I love that she's basically become like the apathetic parent. That's what we've agreed on. Good call, Andy. Nicely done. I kind of want to draw a bunch of Alt Johns and Rosalina just chi and Rosalina's just chilling at a pool or barbecue or whatever now. Would that be a huge but fun project? With this, I say Benui. Benui. Now this is an intermission gift, but I just really like this gift, so I'm just showing it off. <laughs> It's a good gift. It is a good gift. Uh, from Roto Eve, Silva John, Agu John, and Cynthia John. Last time was a bunch of Poke John, so I figured I'd do the Poke jo other Poke Johns next. You got male Silva John, Cynthia John, and Agu John. Yep, all Pokemon here. Enjoy. Definitely, definitely all Pokemon. Well, except for Cynthia being human, but yeah, I get you. Thanks, Roto. I love Agu John. It's very well done. <laughs> next up, from Princess Skylar. Had to re-upload because I forgot her eyebrows. That might be important. Another Twitter suggestion of wholesome Rosa John art suggested by Dee Dee Hensley. They suggested a piece with flowers, specifically roses. I really like roses, so I like this idea a lot. I also did a bit of angle practice with this piece. Hopefully it doesn't look too derpy. Nah, it looks good. I'm likely not in the stream tonight because I'm kind of struggling with my trauma a bit and I really don't want to talk to anyone. No, that's fair. Take take the time you need for anything that happens to you. Don't don't worry about that. Streams, streams don't have to be commitment. They're supposed to be fun. If I am there, I'm likely just lurking, but regardless, I hope everyone's having a good time. Hopefully you are too, Skylar. Hopefully you're doing alright. If you want to suggest more wholesome Rosa art, comment on the link below. There you go. Check that out too. Next up... It's Jonte! A nice sprite edit by Red Reaper. I made this sprite edit of Jonte grooving. Also, I'm starting work soon, so I won't be able to stay up late seeing your streams as much, but I'll still try to get my fill of streams watching and edit making. You can't stop me, I'm, I'm my own buru crab. It's a very efficient system, really. Hope everyone has a wonderful week. Thank you, Red Reaper. You got the whole dance cycle here. Nicely done. But but now you have but now we have an unemployed crab. Look, at some point they had the crabs had to know they didn't have like job guarantees. They they can get reassigned. All right, and we'll end on this one here because my alarm's going off. And this lovely Jonte from Clo Chloe. I wanted to try and, cha and challenge myself by making an art piece with a fair amount of care put in. So here is one of Jonte. It was really fun pushing myself on this one, and I'm really proud of it. Hope you all enjoy. This is super cute, Chloe. Hell yeah. I like the I like the, the full look that she's got here. It's very nice. And I like the little... I was going to say, is it monkey? I'm trying to think of what... I guess it would be monkey bagel, right? Because it looks like the monkey transformation. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Or does she transform into that? Either way, they're super cute. Wait. Go back. Return to, to monkey. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, to back, to back to what? Oh, back to monkey. Mmm, <laughs> monkey. This is super well done, Chloe. Please do more of these. These are super good. We got plenty more art to go, but we will get there next art block, because now it's time to get back to Shantae. Yay! Okay. All right. Let me get my windows back. Where's my window? Alright. Break timer on. So what all do we need to do now? Uh, it is nighttime, so we could try to earn a little bit more money, but I don't think we really need to worry about it. Let's go talk to Mimic first, before we leave town. You're headed for Mount Pointy? That's the farthest spot on the map. You could get there by going east or west, but I try east first. The westerly approach is much too steep. All right, strike that, reverse it. I was gonna this say is... that sounds backwards. <laughs> this is a well-known yep. mistake in the original Yes, it game. is. Ah, 
<sighs> I, I, people had said that there was an east-west swap, but I thought that was earlier in the game, not right now. I thought it was earlier, too. I think they actually tried to fix it, but I think they- I think there were multiple ones and they only fixed one. Jesus. Alright, well, there you go. Well, I remember them- I rem Nope. I went the Yeah, I just remembered somebody saying something, just like, yeah, they fixed the mistake. Oh, I, I'm gonna- I'm gonna look it up, because I think Bolo also says it, and now I'm starting to wonder if that's Bo the one. Bolo didn't say a direction. <laughs> He just said, like, oh, that that's that's a far away place, be careful. I'm gonna I'm still gonna confirm it. No, but Skye's definitely said the right direction when she said uh where the caravan would be. Right, no, it, it's not about the caravan. I'm pretty sure it's the mountain thing. Because the mountain, like, from what I can remember, you can really only approach it from one side before you get the heartbeat. Yeah, as far as I could tell, I only could do that. Turn up, right, left, A, B. Alright, this will get us... Oh, no. No, no, why you? Why you? <laughs> <laughs> Why was she the one? I hit the wrong button to try to run, and of course that was the one guy. The one guy in All front right. of us. Son of a bitch. Here you go. A point of confusion with this game is the incorrect advice Shantae's friends provide about reaching the summit of Mount Pointy. Approaching from the east will run you to an impassable cliff face. To get to the top, you have to go west, which is to say, go left. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. That was the next thing I was going to try at this point. All right. The cuff. Hold down attack to charge up a mighty elbow dash. And the last thing that we can buy for for combat moves is the tiara. But it needs 900 gems. Attack during an elbow dash for a powerful twirl attack. And I'm, I'm kind of just impressed that you're dedicating yourself to the drill kick so much. The drill kick does four times damage, of course I'm gonna do that. Right, but it also there's also like such punishing animation confirmations in this game. I just gave up on using all the things and I found them everybody. way more helpful, honestly. Charge elbow is not worth it, charge time is too long. Yeah, so let me reread it, because I make sure it seemed like it wasn't charging. Oh it hold, is. Hold down attack to charge up a mighty elbow dead. Okay. So just continue holding for She doesn't way flash longer. or anything? She will. Oh. <laughs> wow! That takes a while. Mm-hmm. I had the exact same uh thought process as you of just like, I'm not seeing anything. Is this actually working? Nope, it just uh takes an eternity. That's not uh Savy. I'm with you on this. The dive kick is immensely helpful. Good. I know. I'm glad I'm not alone on that. Then it seems really helpful. Okay. I'm happy that you know they're they're not useless. I'm happy people are getting good uh, experiences out of it. Where did I, I would say, say the I elbow dash is probably to... useless. It's probably safer to go this way. Well, here's the other thing. The elbow dash is not charging while I'm running, which also kind of makes it useless, because that means if I accidentally tap a direction while I'm trying to charge, it cancels out. It looks cool, though. I'm a little worried as to how long it lasts. Uh, yeah, I'm also curious about that. I want to figure that one out. But I need, I need to find flat ground, and I'm not in that yeah. area right now. Yeah, cause that, that's exactly why I'm worried. It's like, that looks like it'll last for longer than you can see ahead of you. So you might just run off the cliff. I, you might be able to cancel it, though. I don't use it enough to know, to, to know if it does. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just like whipping. Whip, 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 whip. Well, what about Nene? What the fuck is a Nene? 
bagel news? Updated live bagel report. Updated bagel report? I went outside again for dinner. Yeah. Actually playing. Okay. They're actually playing. They're playing. Not fighting, actually playing. No growling, he's running after him, the other one's running after him, back and forth, and he won't come to me if he wants to play. Oh my god. Bagel he's likes kitties now. He's made a friend. He made a friend, I think so, anyway. Hmm. And we're sure it's a tabby cat and not a skunk. It's, no, it's not a skunk, it's a cat. I almost pet it, but it was crazy. Oh, okay. That must be the cat. Oh, that's the cat I saw it's him like chasing the other cat. It's a brown, stray tabby. Yeah, a little, a little smaller than him? Yeah, no, that's the cat I saw him chasing around a while ago, too. So that's why I made the run on the block. Yeah. They were actually friends. Holy shit. At least it didn't seem like they were I'm impressed. They're, like, walking together. I'm actually impressed, Bagel. But I can't Bagel made like a friend. <laughs> He's out in the dark now. Oh, shit, yeah, this is normal when he comes in. Fuck. Yeah. Alright, keep me posted. He always makes he always picks fights with other cats, so it's a nice change of pace for once, I'm not gonna lie. But now he's just gonna wanna go over sleepovers and like you're not gonna be able to go home and he's gonna drag his friend over for supper. And as long as their cat mom or cat dad is taking care of him, that's the important thing. <laughs> I care more that he has a friend than anything. Oh shit, I went the No, no, shortcut, the shortcut. You're you're fine, you're fine. Wait, what am I doing? I about to say I went the wrong way for uh trying to get that shortcut. Or trying to get that item we needed the cloud puff for, but Apparently we are fine still. Because the other cat is smaller and Bagel doesn't see it as a threat. No. Most cats are smaller than Bagel. Most cats are small. Yeah, Ryan is one of the few people that's actually met Bagel, so, uh... And, like, I'm I'm smaller than most people, so, like, take this with a grain of salt, but when Bagel rubbed against my leg, uh, he almost, like, moved my leg. <laughs> he almost took me out. The bagel is I a strong that boy. Cat. Here, this, this, should be, this should be enough room. that kind of push. Bagel is a bulldozer, that's why we call him that. <laughs> yeah, we've tried to adopt the second cat twice. Both cats were smaller than Bagel. Bagel hated both cats. So the fact, the, genuinely, the fact that he is playing with a cat right now is stunning to us. We're like actually happy. Twice, I remember. Yeah, we never really talked about the second one. That was that was when we kind of kept on the down low, but it went it went as good as as Eva did, which is to say, not good at all. Oh, um, did you want to try the dash? There's I already did. Space here. Oh, okay. Whoops. That wasn't close. I'll do it again. Uh, can the dash cannot be canceled out with jump. Let's see if we can cancel out with anything else. Nope. You're you're committed to that. Yeah. So that's. That's definitely farther than you can see on the screen, too. Well, here we go. Here's here's something we'll test. Nope. Yep. She goes off that ledge. That's a dangerous move. Hello. Can you not charge the attack while moving? It's the same button as run, and it mm -hmm. won't do both. Yep. It's it's only chargeable by standing still. Uh, the one thing I haven't tried. Nope. Once it once the charge is active, I can't do shit all with it. Yeah. I'm I'm committed to it. So if you hit the button while moving, you run, and if you don't, then you just stand there. Wonder well, here's the... why you won't move. Yeah, so here's the question, though. I'm wondering how <laughs> Tiara affects it, since Tiara canceled into a spin attack. Uh, then you're able to recover... Hopefully? I don't know. Once, go, I... Yeah! Once I saw the elbow dash, I definitely just dropped the... Like I say, I didn't get all the items, because I just got used to whipping. I was making a Smash Bros. joke. Alright, we got 20 chances to get this. Let's see if we waste them all. We got it first try, baby. Hey. 
I'm a little conf- I was a little confused how far it moves before it decides to zap. But we got it. spare ribs! This must be the monkey claw! This talisman this will allow me to attack in monkey form. You can cut off some spare ribs. The monkey fist. Oh but my god! The monkey chain. The monkey's fist. Cut the monkey! That's got more range than I expected. Well tonight. Yeah, these are some good ribs. Alright, so that's two of the four talismans. Oh wait, what am I doing? I have the I have, I have the warp to town. It's a tool in speedruns can because it can kill you too. Ooh. Wait, what? I mean, you have plenty of time. I suppose if you decide to stand under it, that's totally on you. Yeah, that's fair. Oops. No, I want to go into town. That probably can break the blocks that go up the ladder, right? I don't think so. I think that can only be broken with the elephant on uh, above ground. Okay. Back to the desert. Monkey claw can break jars? I don't see why not. Yeah, it's an attack. Considering there's no shampoo in this game, like, I think monkey claw is just better than the whip. As long as you're in the monkey, because you also have the mobility. But Shantae gets, you know, the die. There we go. Yeah, you can cancel that pretty fast, too, to be honest. Turner's used the storm cup to skip the scene of getting the dances after the first one. Oh, so they set it up and then kill themselves while they're talking about it? I can see that, because there's, like, this game does not really ever give you iframes for anything. <laughs> no. John, have you ever played Tales of Azaria? It seems like something you might like more than some other RPGs, especially how dark and metal it is in tone. I mean, I, a game- oh, I already got this. A game doesn't need to be dark and, and moody for me to like it. Uh, but no, I have not played Azaria. I have it? Question mark? I'm pretty sure I do. Which one do I have? I've got Berseria on Steam. I just gifted it years ago. I don't have any time to play it, and I think if I do, I'll want to do it in Japanese. I have yeah. Berseria and Symphonia on Steam, and Vesperia on Switch. I have played a little bit of Symphonia and Vesperia. I have not touched Berseria at all. The only Tales game I know is Symphonia, and I love it dearly. Holy shit, that thing fucking tracks! Oh wait, I, I I always forget this. I do own uh Symphonia 2 because that, that, I that found not, not so <laughs> I know, but I found it at a used game store for like for like four dollars. I'm like, yeah, this is worth it. One commenter seems to be turned way up compared to the other audio. Is that me? Is it me? What? Might be me. The game audio is pretty loud in my ears right now, I can turn that down. No, I think uh, they're talking about us. Yeah, but they're saying in relation to the game. Oh. So I can also bump the game down a little bit too to make this easier. I'll fight anyone who shit talks in Ponya 2. Alright, Coral. Where's the ring? Don't! Where are we this up? Ryan, don't! <laughs> <laughs> All right, to, to be fair, I only played Wait. it once years ago, so I'm not that fresh. <laughs> okay, I'm a little confused by the by the donation I just got. Mmm, Monkey says, but Rosa John wore no pants. Yeah, that's the, uh, oh, that's, that's where the that line from is from. Movie. Yeah, never mind, you're right. Well, not the movie, the, uh, short. Oh, why do I think it was a movie? Uh, Apparently, I was it's a, a it was a Kung Fu Panda short that, uh, showed how... Master Ugwe found the Furious Five. And for Monkey, he was stealing everybody's pants. 
and Uguay won because he wore no pants. Huh. Oh yeah, no, I, I always, I always hold the opinion too that like, if you like a game, cool, you go ahead and like it. My dislike does not mean you're wrong, but I have a great amount of fun arguing about it. Backloggery says you have Berseria for PS4. Still unfinished, though. Yeah, no, uh... I haven't played through a proper RPG in ages. Like, in spare time. Because I just don't have the time... I don't want to commit that much time to a game. Unless it's a game I can, like, walk away from and come back and I know I'll at least remember what the fuck I was doing. Last time I remember you talking about playing an RPG was, uh, Chrono Cross. Yep. And that took some time, too, and that was short. I almost exactly. said Kingdom Hearts, but I'm just like, no, wait, you play Chrono Cross after that. Corel, what do you mean? You say, what's your favorite? What's my favorite what? No, it's your favorite. Mm -hmm. just, what? What's your favorite favorite? What? My favorite favorite? Probably RPG. They're probably asking RPGs since we're discussing RPGs. What the fuck? Well, then that would definitely be Xenoblade 2, but that's no secret. What the fuck's the point of this? Wait, I, you like Xenoblade? I finally got my Pyra statue! I'm so happy about it! <laughs> yeah, a lot of favorite, people have been getting theirs. Favorite Tales game? It's Symphonia. Oh, it's the only Tales game I've played. So it's, it's Symphonia. <laughs> Well, guess we're waiting. Doop, 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 doop. There's a reason I'm not suggesting Thousand Year Door for game clearing. I'm just gonna say, if you're suggesting Thousand Year Door for game clearing, you're wasting your vote because there's no way I'd get through that with an enjoyable experience. P too many people cherish that game. And if I had mm -hmm. any, any, any variation of thoughts on that from the suggested norm, it would not be a fun experience. I say this as somebody whose least favorite chapter is the one who's uh is the one that is everybody's favorite. The Rockhawk one? Yep. Rockhawk is the only thing I care about in that entire chapter. Also, yeah, that's not even keeping in, in, in mind the whole thing that it would just be a spoiler fest, too. That's also true. Yeah, TTYD is just not a not a great idea for a stream for if you have any amount of followers. I mean, I've, I've actually played the game. I think I got the, like, chapter two, maybe, but... Uh, a, the memory card that was on is lost. And B, uh... I played it, and then something else came out I wanted to play, so I played that instead. Ironically, I might have played through Bait and Kaitos instead of Paper Mario. So at least I guess it was a, a, a GameCube RPG. Unfortunately, on Bot and Kaitos, I got to a certain point and had to quit. Like, I think I got... I got to a certain point inside of a tower or something that I couldn't leave. And I had too little resources, too little HP, and I couldn't fight and level up without dying. Shit. Like, I basically save-locked myself in a place where I couldn't progress, and I had to just drop it and move on. Yeah, that sounds like Baden Kaitos. It had some weird quirks. I was enjoying I, it I up still until really, that Yeah, point. it's a good game. I, I like Baden Kaitos. If there's a game you RPG I'd recommend, it would be that. That is such horseshit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, the Nagas. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're, like they're Trey, awful. Trey warned me like last stream, like yo, their their shots are bullshit. But man, that is some grade A bullshit. Yeah, you, even as the monkey who moves faster and jumps higher, you can't get away from them. <laughs> So here's the million dollar question. Is it even worth me running through this area knowing that this what this leads to? Because this isn't well, you, the town. You, ha you have to move this way to get to the mountains anyways, don't you? Is this actually Not the mountain this path? Area. I thought it was the uh, the part where the village was. Yeah, this, well, is, the, this is the, the man's whole, desert. The whole world circles around, so eventually you'll get there. No, there are some dead ends. Yeah, this, yeah, this would be a dead end. 
don't think so. This is a dead end. Mm -hmm. It, le it yeah, leads to just... Dungeon 2. Can you not and progress you any farther there? Nope. See, here's Dungeon 2. Like, you get to a save point and then a dead end. Huh, okay. Perfect. Because now I can take the damage and just warp to the other side. Yo, Ryan, have you ever played any Fire Emblems, and if so, which? Are... I'm, I'm, I'm not... not being sassy, but it's gonna sound like it. Is that a serious question? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might actually be. Because the answer is yes. I've played damn near every one of them. <laughs> and the, re the literal reason I started learning Japanese was to play the Fire Emblems that never got translated. I have beaten two Fire Emblem games. Fire Emblem Warriors and Conquest. <clears throat> So, uh, so, so yeah, I, I haven't played Thracia or Genealogy, and I haven't played New Mystery of the Emblem. I've played everything else. I haven't beaten everything else, but I am very intimately familiar with it all. I have, like, 600 hours in three houses. I, le I streamed literally the entire game. My... my... <laughs> This, this, the playlist on YouTube, I looked at it the other day, it's actually frightening. It's 157 videos. <laughs> All of them are like two hour streams, minimum. <laughs> wow, that's longer than, that's longer than when I played all of Xenoblade. <laughs> and I mean all of it, that was a two, that was 200 hours of, of, uh, everything. I was say, you had, a, you had a meal going for the in the running there now, at that point. <laughs> I mean, uh, like, all- I mean all four and a, all three and a half games. Genealogy's on the Japanese NSO? I know it is, but, uh, I'm currently going through Mystery of the Emblem on the Japanese NSO. And eventually I'm gonna want to do Genealogy as a stream, so I don't want to spoil myself too much on that. Asking for a joke and I'm genuinely interested, but that is the Fire Emblem. The, f the Fire Emblem itself is a different object in every continent within the series. Yeah, but there's, the there is Mc usually an item called the Fire Emblem. Yeah. It's a new McMuffin every single time. Well, that Go in the town, Shantae. Nice. Stop doing your sick, your sick flips. Fire Emblem is probably, somebody said it jokingly, but like it's probably the series that I have sunk the most time. I'm one of the most dedicated to. McMuffin? Yeah, I, j I call McGuffins McMuffins because it's funnier. Did that scorpion have titties? Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Shantae. Titty scorpion becomes a regular enemy. I, I, well, most of the enemies in this game have titties. Mm -hmm. It's something that I unironically love about it. Just the commitment to making it's just unabashedly cute girls. It's like yeah, it's like how Yoko Taro's like, yeah, no, I made you be hot because I just like girls. Just like well, I just think unabashedly it, like, yeah, no, I just like this. Or uh, I can't remember. I can never remember his name. Whoever made Helltaker, just like yeah, I made this game so people will draw more fan art of my girls. Yeah, no, that's hilarious, and the <laughs> fact that it worked as well as it did. Let's try to earn some money before we go uh, on our adventure. We have 70 gems, and we're gonna try <laughs> our luck at the gecko match. The, the, the commitment to the tit, I mean the bit. Yeah. So, uh, so a fun thing I discovered about this, do you care if I say it? Go for it. Uh, if you, if you win where they're at the second to top one, you get over, you get about 500 gems. Oh? Yeah, I got 550 gems three times in a, three times. Well, yeah, because so, cause the, the total's, like, going up for every time you bet, right? And it goes up for both of your bets. And if mm -hmm. you're waiting till they get to the second top, that's, like, the most amount of bets possible. Exactly. <clears throat> so I just save-stated when they're at the... So I just save-stated when they're, like, uh, one before... Or I'm at a, I think I'm out of so gems. I don't think I can that. play anymore. Oh, no, I can. Nope, it will let you keep playing for some reason. Oh, good, because I now have to win four, three rolls in a row now. I mean, you could say I hate 
I hate dice rolling, man. <laughs> man, I hate dice rolling so much. Yep, it's over. <laughs> Sure, let's try again. <clears throat> With your no money? Yeah, I know it's worth a shot. Well. Oh no, that's a load state. Shit. Uh, yeah, we have the reset. Fuck! Yeah, the... the... Is that why you don't like D&D? &D? I don't like that aspect of it either. That is definitely doesn't help why I don't like D&D. No, oh, there goes Maddie. He wants to go play with his friend again. Isn't that guy in Pirate's Curse? Maybe. I, le I legit didn't see it was a monster girl, and I thought it was just a normal skin corpion with titties. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I did like that they reintroduced the Scorp Man, though, in uh, Seven Sirens. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, there were. I, I mean, th thinking about it on the last stream, because yeah, it's really it was really interesting going through this game after having played all the other ones and being just like, wow, all of these enemies are actually reused in this game. I thought yeah, they were original to this one. Oh There's shit! Yeah, Shantae, Shantae is actually wearing all the fighter gear in that picture. Cool. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of that. Uh. Man, for the sake of my own sanity, fuck it. I'm I'm safe stating, so at least we don't have to go through all the loading again. But I think I'm gonna try this one more time. Better than having to all reboot the, the game every Pirate time. Curse. Yep, yep. All the gamblers are in Pirates Curse. Oh, it's a different character. Gold men. Do you know what? Yeah, there's three doing? of them that can show up here. Mm, 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 yep. Mm, mm. I don't. Oh, I made her sad. May I give it a tip for this mini game that's just dice? What? What do you got, Autumn? <laughs> yeah, I'll oh admit, my. I'm curious. <laughs> what is your tip? Legitimately, I am now curious on this heavily RNG based game. If it says states, we know that one. I No, I'm assuming it's something like you can leave with all your money as long as you're ahead or something like that. Right. No, somebody said this last time. When you stop uh -huh. the dice, you're actually stopping the opponent's dice. Uh -huh. So you can kind of look for it and time it if you're that good. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just, you just increased the pot. It was intentional. Yeah. Here's a hot tip. Win. <laughs> I think I might have shot myself in the foot here. I mean, you can safe state now. I can also leave with 360. That That is also true. I probably should just leave with 360. I mean, she's probably not too happy about that, considering she just caught up. <laughs> I mean, she might have also left with, like, 360. But how does that way? So the establishment's just giving out all the bets? Double yeah. the bets? That's that's why it doesn't show up in any other game. They went bankrupt after this one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just turn 360 degrees and walk away. Yep, that's how that works. No one said it was a smart business. All right, Sky. Let's see what you say. Hi, right, can you watch my eggs? Don't leave them out in the sun too long. I heard you're headed for Mount Pointy. That's a long way from here, but you'll find it if you travel east. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that? Was that both Mimic and Sky that are wrong? Yeah, Wait a second, apparently. I. Oh, I think I might get... Hmm. Maybe not with Mimic, but I think I get why Sky got that wrong. Hold on, give me a second. Is that just because she has birds and she can fly? No. No, it's because of, I believe, how the map is. How, like, the overworld map is. Damn it. Is Sky blonde or black-haired? You just can't tell. She's got her hood over her hair. 
Yeah, I believe in game, <laughs> in the actual series, it's. It is yeah, blonde? blonde? Yeah. Yeah, she's blonde. Let's All see right. if I can find a picture of Sky from the manual or something. I think, the, yeah, the only picture you're gonna find with her hair fully, like, showing is when I think she's in the, uh, the Slave Leia outfit. Sure, but in all the games after this, she's still got, like, bangs popping out yeah. from her hood. And yeah, I so just I... found pictures of the original, and yeah, she still has the three, like, tufts coming out of the front, and they're blonde. So, it sort of makes sense for Mimic as well, but yeah, they went with how the map is instead of how the sprite is. If Which that makes is sense. not wise. No. I posted in mod room if you want to show it. Oh, yeah. No, that would do it. So, yeah, so the whole world is a loop. Uh, that's the thing they establish in the game. And, uh... But also, Mimic saying... Here's the map saying... proper. <laughs> but also, Mimic saying going west would take you literally into the ocean. Yeah, here, here's Scuttletown. Here's where they start. And Mount Pointy's down here. Nah, that still kind of doesn't make sense, even with the map. I said, yeah, not for yeah. not for Scuttle Town, for Oasis Town it does. Because yeah, Oasis Town it makes sense because it's just right here. <laughs> but it does not make sense for Mimic. No. Either way, that's just a lore reason. I feel like an in-game reason that's not viable. Mm-hmm. You nuisances. Can yeah, you be damaged in this one? No, you cannot. Okay. Yeah, the map Crytoxin posted is a better one that actually shows how things are connected. <laughs> Love how gloomy the mud bog is. The mud bog in Pirate's Curse was just hell. Mm -hmm. I hated that place. Uh. That makes more sense. I would show the map, but it just kind of spoil a couple of towns we haven't been to yet, a couple of places we haven't been to yet, so I'll, I'll wait off on that. But yeah, that does explain things a bit better. You mean they just jammed areas with enemies? Yeah, and a lot of them are, you know, goo and you can't really see them until they pop out and start shooting mud balls at you. So what you're By saying the way, is even, they aren't gooed? Even, even these slime enemies have, have goos. Well, that one has a butt, more likely. Well, there, there are male and female versions of these in, like, yeah. Shantae 5, so... And mm -hmm. in this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not in 5, in, uh... Pirate's Curse. I don't think they're in 5 at all. They're in 5. These ones? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they were. They're in the lab. And the first map didn't? Oh, that's a good point, actually. I'm stupid. <laughs> Yeah, fuck I wasn't going to. I wasn't gonna. I didn't even think about that. I'm like, ah, nah, nah, nah. I can't. Uh, is there gonna be a firefly up here? I'm wondering. There. This is this is a better way to show everything is connected. I see her mudball creatures. Shantae, pirate's curse. So then maybe they're called something else. This visual definitely showed up. Yes, 100%. In... They're, they have a different name, but they are Pirates. definitely in that lab, and they look exactly like those. All right, I was incorrect. There is not... Oh, that was right! Ha-ha! Mm. We're only missing two fireflies. Problem is, I have no fucking clue where we're gonna find those remaining two. Yeah, so, alright, so it looks a little bit different, but they basically behave the same way. The ones hanging from the ceilings. They're called muck gals. And they have more of a fish head. Oh, that, okay, that's what you mean. 
Yeah, I thought they were they literally the same, but apparently they are slightly different. Yeah, I thought so too until I looked this up. But they basically behave the. I mean, there's some with legs and they run at you, but there's definitely the ones that hang from the ceiling and basically behave exactly like these guys. Okay, well I can't mm -hmm. do this yet unless there's a hidden path up top. So what? Was... The, so what I was talking about was the conglomeration. I'm just like I don't remember a conglomeration at all in Seven Sirens. Fair. Fair enough. Okay, so we got a path we can't do anything with yet because it's blocked off and needs a harpy. I summon harpy lady. Oh, bye. I think my laundry's done. Be up back in a bit. So what is it that's smashing the ground? It's not the... the muff gals, is it? It's this thing. Hmm. Elephant wants to smash. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna bite you. Ah, yeah. shit. Bad call. Well, at least I'm still elephant. For all your platforming needs. The real issue is that it took away all my health. That's the thing I don't like about this game: the fact that like you lose a life and you only get three of your hearts back. That is kind of weak. Yeah. Maybe they just didn't put in like a percentage increase. Well, they could have done full, I guess, but... It is a weird know, decision. Just... I wonder why they chose to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more wondering why than anything. I can't climb this, perfect. Uh, <laughs> sure, you can climb it, but you can't get to the top. <laughs> no. Well, it's there. True, that's what? what Zelda did as well, so it's not like it was uh, an unknown practice. Yeah, but we're talking Zelda... No, I guess, like, the past still did. Yeah, I guess I guess most Zelda's up to this point did that, huh? Eh. Doesn't change it for being it's annoying though. Like, th this is what other games did, so we're gonna do this too. Ooh, that was a gigantic one. All right. I assume my bugs will be on top of this one too. Yep. Giant bug trees. Yeah. My only worry is like one of these is gonna have something. Like there's gonna be some reason to get on top of one of these. Question is, can I? I mean, once you get Harpy, too, you can pretty easily check this whole area. Well, once I get Harpy, you can basically do everything in the game. At that point, I don't think anything's locked behind progress. This is true. Giant bug trees do, in fact, exist, and they are terrifying. What do you mean, they, in fact, exist? No, they don't. That's... These are <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> They're not real. God, there's that thing again. Who wouldn't hate giant insects? They're weird!
I'm not clicking that link. <laughs> Not catching me that way. Ah, uh, yeah. No, that's all right. I, is it worth me trying to kill that thing? I can't even tell. I don't think so. They're so out of the way <laughs> that it makes me assume like they would be worth something if you could kill them. But now it's nighttime, so it's gonna take like ten of these to do that. Might be faster to use an item or something? Also, they might be restoring their health every time they go off screen. That's what I'm worried about. Well, nope, they are not. And they also did not drop anything, but they also exploded. Was it weird that I don't like spiders, but I also enjoyed a show where people wrote on giant battle spiders? Not really. I hate spiders, too. Like, really hate them. I liked the movie Eight-Legged Freaks. <laughs> it's, a we it's a weird movie to like, considering it is exclusively about giant spiders killing people. <laughs> Oh, this was the correct way to go. Oh. Yeah, sure enough, it was too. Fuck. Hang on, before I move on, prerequisite smash into a wall test. Tiger, a speed, a speed, a spada, da, da. I don't, I don't get it. A couple people from last stream theorized the giant fireflies are just meant to be anti harpy cheese. I think that's it, but the harpy can also just pretty easily fly a little bit over them. Yeah, also, so I can try to put some kind of a wall in. Harpy can eventually attack too, right? I believe. If I think that's what their talisman is. No insects or arachnids. Are centipedes cool? Centipedes uh, are insects. I'm pretty sure. No, they Oh, aren't. hello! <laughs> well, then they fall under the uh, scientific category of bug. That was an attack pattern. Oh, I thought you were yeah. talking... I thought you were... I thought I was, like, very loud for a second. No, 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 no. You're no, in no. the right place. <clears throat> No, your volume's fine. It was the dude with a massive sword going absolutely ham. Uh, what's what's Silver Chariot's cry? Stand, cry, whatever it is. I, I thought it was Ura like everyone else's. It might have been. I mean, I mean, Dio's is Muda. I'm pretty sure, I think Dio might be, like, the only real exception. Uh, Bucciarari. It's a Riva Danchi. I meant from 3, from Stardust. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have not seen anything past 4, so... Yeah, I, I, I feel like with spiders, it kind of depends on what you get used to. Because I hate spiders. I've gotten used to little jumping spiders in my room. I leave them alone. Any other type? No, it's still immediate creeps and, like, shoe squish as soon as I see them. Right, I can't get off. I can't get off walls. Come on. Thank goodness that dropped some health. Pentapedes are chillipods. They're certainly not chill. <laughs> It may be some some kind of O pods, but I protest that part. Okay, so there's a ledge down there I can land on if I move towards it. Australia must terrify you. I never go in there. I had I had a goal earlier in life of visiting every continent, and then I decided that I hate travel. But if <laughs> I ever pick it up again, I'll go to Antarctica before I go to Australia, or I'll go to the airport and then take the next flight out. <laughs> 
Take the airport. Take the airport uh, <laughs> from Australia to Antarctica. There we go. Just get it on the way. That's monkey. <clears throat> This looks like another firefight location, I'm gonna guess, because there's not much going on here otherwise. Yeah, I believe it is. Yep! Yay. So we're only missing one firefly. So that begs the question, and chat, you can tell me the answer if you know it. Have we missed it? Have we missed the actual last firefly? I think there's an area you haven't actually been to yet. I'm I'm assuming that's the case. Oh yeah, I could have used spider for this. That would have made more sense. It, how how did you get through it? I used monkey. But it spikes on both sides. There's a small gap. Oh, well, you're well, one of those yeah. People. Anyone who says I'm sure this will be on red usually means it's going to be red, so yes, I read your story about you pissing on your floor. Congratulations. It looks like a <laughs> copy pasta, though, to be fair, but. Dude. Congratulations on floor piss. Congratulations. I'm not gonna jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> I still love the, uh,. Post of Smash Bros. where it has all of the character, where it has like a me's of all the characters, and then DDD is there. I've never seen this. Oh, uh, John <clears throat> retweeted it recently, I think. What did I retweet? Uh, the uh, congratu Evangelion congratulations, but it, and that in Smash Bros. Oh, that was a Somebody while ago, but yeah. Somebody retweeted it somewhat recently. Have you heard that tale about the Flying Pyramid? That's where the legendary spy scope is hidden. I'd go there myself for a look-see, but these arms don't flap fast enough. There sure are a lot of those warp squids running loose. The way I figure it, there must be five in each labyrinth, making 20 in all. The Twinkle Palace is at the top of the mountain. Can't say I'd travel there, though. Rusty Gullet. Risky Boots will be my woman! Oh, looks like she literally, like, blew you up. <laughs> one time I saw an elephant crush a stone golem with one mighty blow. I bet that would work on all rock monsters. Advanced genies, what? Uh, well, let's, let's go to the bathhouse first. Have you heard that tale about the woman who shoots? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why have are you heard you the here? tale of the woman who shoots? Turns out Silver Chariot's battle cry is "Hora, hora, hora." <laughs> Similar to but distinct nice. from "Ora, ora, ora." All right, let's see what's going on in the shop here. I assume the prices are going to be stupid high in Bandit Town. Somebody says, you can get the last Firefly now, but you're basically screwed out of getting back to where you got to without the Harpy form. So, mm. just go get it with the Harpy form. Yeah. That makes sense. Alright, so it looks like they've got the best, like, variety, but everything's a little bit more expensive, at least, like, the vials are. My babies! My baby! My baby! Deepest town for items is the caravan. Ye yes, that sounds right. I mean, sure, but do you expect a zombie to play nice? I wouldn't trust him. But these are tame zombies, not wild zombies. They drink their coffee. Alright, what's going on in advanced genies? Silly brains. I mean, that's fair. Oh, this is the extra dance. I see mm. that you're a very advanced hero, bringing back 500 gems and I'll tell you a secret. Oh, it's 500 gems to get that dance. Jesus, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're playing on a better system. Give me money. 
Considering what the transformation can do, it's honestly kind of fair. Hi, not risky. <laughs> oh, a genie. Are you Bandit Town's guardian? Absolutely. I do my job using powerful mind-reading magic. For instance, you've come here looking for the Twinkle Stone, right? Oh, wow, you're right. Well, you're in luck, sweetie. I can get you into the Twinkle Palace with no problem at all. Just meet me there in a little bit with, will you? What luck? I'll be there. Thanks. What also, you should try cutting your hair short sometime. <laughs> it would look awfully cute in a bob. Ho, ho, ho. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll think about it. Bye now. Yeah, definitely not risky. Nope. Not at all. What a coincidence meeting somebody who looks exactly like me. But with different colors. And somehow knows that I shouldn't, like, knows that hair is part of my power. Weird how that works. Uh, let's leave. I mean, you don't really ever interact that much with other genies in the whole series, and the ones that you do, you never see do anything. So... Is hair just a thing that they all have? Or no, it it, it's it's a in? it's a quirk that the, in this game they establish that all genies have quirks that are like magically tinged, and that's what Shantae's mm -hmm. is is the hair attacking. That's what the yeah. fucking dialogue about the the genie squirting milk out of her eye is. It's literally that piece of dialogue that like establishes that. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know she was a genie. I thought it was just some woman who had a really unique skill. Yeah, no, that she's, they say half-genie, so it's a half-genie that can squirt milk out their eye. Shantae got her hair from her father, but she got the magic from Mom. Shantae said this is unique. Do the genies of Shantae ever imply to use different attacks if they're elemental? Sure, they're implied, but you don't actually see them. That's why I'm wondering. Well, I mean, they sort of attack in five, remember? Like, one of them uses electricity. Me? Yeah. One, of the, one of them straight up uses electricity. I do I not know, like Anger Bird. Mind. Anger Bird upsets me. They've said that they are planning on doing DLC for Seven Sirens. I hope that they basically take friends to the end, but use the other half genies. That'd be cool to actually see him do stuff, yeah. Shh. <clears throat> Have you ever met Shantae's father in any of the games? That is an open question. <laughs> it's debatable. But have we ever had a character named Shantae's father? No. No, that, that we definitely have not. See, the thing that makes that the happiest about that animation is the wide open beak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they came clearly ah! screaming like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer I was hoping for, but thank you. You're welcome. Wait for it is also stated Shantae's parents are going to appear, Shantae's mother's going to come first. Yeah, I'm surprised that, that makes sense. still open. <laughs> I mean, there's been so much like, is this her mom? Is this- oh shit. Oh shit! Is this her mom in the game that at this point, yeah, I'm not surprised. Probably should have burned out all my lives before leaving Bandit Town, now that I think about it. This may not have been a wise decision. <laughs> Hello, this is my OC, Shantae Dad. That's his first name. His last name is, is Father of Shantae. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Shantae Dad is Father of Shantae. <laughs> That's a slide. No, we have Could... never met. Ac we have never actually met Shantae's mom. I believe there might have been some text from her at one point. Well, I mean, I think the, they it is implied at the end of five <clears throat> that she got a book with a message from her from her mother. And I'm pretty sure at the end of four, uh, one of the one of them talks about just like, hey, yeah, here's another message from your mother. Yeah, no, 4 is all about, like, yeah, the gate to the... It's all about genies. 
Genie, right, Genie, but that was, Genie connection is pretty implied on that one. So that that wasn't the mother herself. I thought it was. No. Hmm. It flat. Out, they flat out said just like, it's like no. Shantae Ch asks if she is, and then she says, "No, I am not your mother, but I know her." Gotcha. Right. So, basically, climbing up any of those is just gonna take you to the slide. Oh shit! That wasn't there before. Yeah, no, basically at the end of each game, they always make a- they give Shantae, like, one little small thing about her mother. Eventually, she'll be able to rebuild her. <laughs> Eventually, she'll learn her name! <laughs> that would be nice. That's probably gonna be the last piece, because that makes the magic real. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of a name? Yeah. I'm gonna guess going uh, this way right, is gonna make you slide. Be, be, be careful about yep, that. Yep, 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 that's what I thought. I, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to loop around the whole world before. Hello, uh... What did you say your name was? My name... Who? Chante seems happy about this. <laughs> who uh, are the you? genie named who. I actually have never seen this happy Shante sprite with the, the UIs. Ah. I've never seen that one before. My name is Shantae. Who cares? <laughs> now sit still while I do my thing. <laughs> my ass will open this door. Thanks. Damn, girl. That was a piece of cake. I better get in and out of here before I freeze to death. Well, if she can turn into Sophia, her mother must be Eve. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. I like guess she had, like there's is... no comment on the fact that like it's the same height as risky, <laughs> the same say, physical like, build as risky. Have you ever met, met, met like my but, friend Arch and But she's, she's, she's not. not she's not wearing a hat. Ah, you're right. That's the big difference. All right, ice dungeon. I'll admit I'm dis I'm disappointed that what her name fuck? isn't risky isn't risky backwards. Alright, well, let's see what's in this pot before we smash that thing open as the as the elephant. Suspect is hatless. Repeat, suspect is hatless. Perfect. The eyes are big here. No, her right. eyes are red. Her eyes are red. We're just seeing her at night. You can't really see her eyes. She just looks happy all the time. Yeah, Shantae is smarter than Bolo, but still not the sharpest cookie. She's gullible, I think is the actual good way to put it. She's very gullible. Yeah. She le she wants everybody to be friends. Including Risky. This is not, uh, this is not change. <laughs> nope. For better or for worse. Almost always for worse. Yeah, almost always for worse. But then there was that game where they got to go on lots of dates for a while. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she was so excited every time, too. Moist the main snail. I mean, they they, they swapped clothes. They were talking pirate jerks. Well, it's not that they swapped clothes. They, it's that Shantae literally went in like and stole all her clothing. And even <laughs> say, doesn't she even say, like, yeah, the bra was too big. That's why I couldn't wear it or something stupid yeah. like that. Literally stole Jeez. her clothing. <laughs> and like, we're the wait, good guys. <laughs> wait, what are you wearing? Oh, I found this clothes in the in the hall. But it was a lot of I it was a bit more a bit roomy or something. Roomy. Yeah, yeah, that's the wording. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pirates curses risky and Shante going on adventure dates. Risky drives. <laughs> and then dives and Shante does everything Shante. else. Yeah, Sh Shante goes out and brings her back gifts. <laughs> To be fair, Risky kidnapped Hi, Risky. her while she was taking a bath. Okay, that's also fair. Risky, I brought you a gun. <laughs> it's yours! <laughs> no, you know what, Shantae? It's yours. You can use this more than me. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't expect giant comical wrecking ball. Oh yeah, that's true. Risky was also the one who gave her the bath. 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, this sucks! <laughs> you know what? I, I think I might actually- should I burn my last life? But I think that's gonna send me back to town. Fuck. Yeah, probably. Was, yeah. yeah, shit. So, I was playing this game right with you. I was in this dungeon and that it happened to me. I died and I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm done for today then. <laughs> yeah, I was holding down attack because it's the run button. So that's why I ended up ac accidentally activating that. That sucks. And you solve the puzzle. Not if I keep jumping too high. God damn it! I think you so can you hit the bottom one from the ground. You can. Okay, there we go. You did it! You solved the puzzle! Hooray! You made, you made possibly a squid? Yeah, it looks like a squid with, like, a pirate hat on. It might be the spiky things from earlier. At least it's not a slider puzzle. That's true. Could be worse. Could be worse. How? It could be raining. <laughs> That's that is the line from Young Frankenstein that me and my family quote all the time. That and Abby normal. Let's not be hate on slider puzzles, guys. Ah, uh, they're frustrating. I get why people hate them. I, I'm not a fan of them either. I could use some health. We. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Look what it is! Everybody's favorite mechanic! Sonic Spindle! Donkey Kong! Oh. We went d different directions. I guess it is technically the barrels! <laughs> How did you not die? I have no fucking clue, but I'm very grateful right now. It gave you heart! <laughs> to be fair, we're pretty early in the dungeon. It wouldn't have been a terrible thing if it happened, but I would rather find either a one-up sooner rather than later at this point. I would really like to find a bunch of one-ups sooner rather than later. Aha. That probably needs, uh, me to shoot through the barrel, but I'll see if I can do it as monkey. Yeah. Monkey. Ba-ba. Oh, nope, that actually does, nope, it doesn't, never mind. Okay, first warp squid down. I bet it misses its mommy. I'll take you back to a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get hope, raised by some. Hope you're not picky. <laughs> I mean, they're warp squids. If they, when they grow up, they can find their own mom. Isn't that literally a thing that Squid Baron talks about at some point? Like making, like talking about how someone screwed up all the the parents, like. Put them all, return to the wrong people. I think he literally talks about that in one of the games. Probably. And Shantae's like, ah, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Shantae make a mistake in a Shantae game? That never happens. I think never. that's oh, the God. door. In the no, there's left. a door. I'm trying to figure out where else I can go. Mm. Adults can't tell the difference. The kids probably can't either. God! Well, there's that door. Hello, door. Just Good the first too. boss in Risky's Revenge. Yes, yes he is. Mhm. Mm and then he and never then stopped coming back. <laughs> he's, a, he's a beloved in search for the rest of the series. Yes, I can. Aha! I knew it. Thank God. All right. We're not imminently in danger anymore. Uh, 
Ah, oh, even better. Nice. Nice. Now you got me thinking about how Shantae would look in a suit. Somebody contact Van Ripper. But why would she want to wear warm clothes? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> that was a good mini boss fight. God, we've already found another key door, but I don't think we ever found another key. Or another locked door, rather. Well, there was that door in the bottom left, too. There's, there's more dungeon. That's true. Oh shit, man. Alright. Two keys found. Thank you some extra lives. At the very least, if I do end up dying and having to go back to Bandit Town, I'm really hoping I, it happens when I have four of the squids. Because if I can get the dance, I won't mind as much. Or if you already have Harpy. That too. That would also help a lot. There are ways we can make that beneficial. Yeah, or if we get another 70 gems. Oh yeah, right, the, the 500 gem. Yes, yes, guys, I've also seen Zadrata with glasses and it's wonderful. Let's try this door next. Now I'm starting to see why the save guy appears in the dungeons at every future Shantae game. Usually yeah, pretty early, they got too, rid yeah. of the game Because they got rid of the live system. Yeah. And usually the game over system was, oh, you're just at the beginning of the dungeon now at worst case. Yeah, it's like death is no, at worst case. <laughs> at, at worst case, it sends you to the last save point with no progress saved. Oh, yeah. Ironically, the life system is more forgiving in this game. <laughs> aside from the health, aside from the health thing, but even that can be unforgiving in ah, the uh, shit. in uh, later games. I have chosen poorly. You it's chose. not hard to get back. Yeah, no, it's it's literally the next room. You really like this cannonball gimmick, huh? You know, when I think ice, I think cannonballs. <laughs> Me too! Okay. What about see. cannonballs made of ice? That sounds dangerous. Yeah. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, good. I wasn't the only one who saw that, thankfully. <laughs> Okay, you return to monkey. Fine. No, come on! Oh, right, because I can't use it as monkey. I'm stupid. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Don't worry. I made literally that exact same mistake. But I want to see if you would make it too. <laughs> it shatter and melt near instantly. Okay, but what if... What if it actually worked like a shotgun? Oh, God. And you just fired off ice shards. Uh... Okay, I guess that works too. Well, we got our one-up back. Yay. Wouldn't cannonballs made of ice be fired from a glass cannon? Yes! <laughs> wow, there are so many one-ups in this dungeon. Probably because they knew they didn't want to send you back to Bandit Town. <laughs> and also because of that. Damn it. All right. Uh, called Cyborg Shantae by speedrunners happens in exactly that situation being transported being transformed and opening a door cool nice hey buddy are you here to complain yeah I heard you made a friend today yeah congratulations happy for you meow oh, that's elephant hi buddy Uh oh. Ah, damn it, I should just use the launchers. Burning all the extra lives I got. What's down here? Mutagaga! 
As long as you don't fire directly down, you should be okay. What did I just say? <laughs> I couldn't resist, I'm sorry. <laughs> It does actually have to be elephant, okay. All the crying he just did, now he's lying down. Fuck you. Really hope to get at least Harpy soon. I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky though. Hmm. Door. Yeah, yeah, the animations are super nice, super smooth. There's just a surprising amount of frames on them. Yeah, no, like I've said, this is a technically impressive Game Boy Color game. It's a shame that the, the original cartridge goes for so fucking much. Alright, spikes and spikes on both sides. Not worth the attempt. Yeah, this is this is top of the line for the GBC for sure. Might have to flip them. No, I got nope. it. Nope. Yeah, the only stuff I could really compare on Game Boy Color was Nintendo's own stuff. Like, Wario Land 3 is Game Boy Color, for example. Mm. And there's, like, the weird experimental stuff they did, like, Perfect Dark, where, with, like, their weird pseudo-movie file system. There's, like, a bunch of weird games like that. Since this is a retro game, I've got a question for a bit. When it comes to retros and you play it on the Nintendo Switch Online, what's your take on save states and the rewind feature? Uh, they're good features to have. I honestly think that people, someone shouldn't worry about using those features unless they literally want to beat the game without using those features. That's the only time you don't care. As a game collector, I think the... Oh. I think the best thing that happened to retro gaming is save states and, uh, and rewind. That was the only I, way I was able to beat Zelda 2. I do not disagree. Even as an old school, you know, like, Fire Emblem fan, I'm using the rewinds like mad when I replay those on the Switch online, because, yeah, moving a guy in the wrong spot just sucks. <laughs> I think my- I had another fun thing where I learned, apparently, uh, you can revive Ganon in A Link to the Past after you beat him. Hmm? Yeah, so if you- after you kill Ganon, if you go down the hole and go back to the Pyramid of Power, Ganon is still there at full health. That makes sense, since falling down basically just resets the fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate this room. Oh god, I hate everything about this room. Oh yeah, it oh, makes sense. Oh, oh, oh. It made sense, but I was just a moment... <laughs> it was just a moment where I was like, hold on a second, I need to see something. So I made a safe save, just like, I need to know if this happens. So, it seems like as long as you don't touch anything, <laughs> you'll be alright. Just, just shoot and let it fly. Ah, oh, the dance, thank god. Are we human? Or are we dancers? Ooh, thank you for freeing me. Once I was the guardian of this labyrinth, but a terrible creature imprisoned me here. For your kindness, I will teach you a magical dance you can use to foil evil. Watch closely. Well, another, another thing I love is in the Zero Collection, the Mega Man Zero Collection, they literally just put in a bunch of save state points for you. If you use the assist saves, you never lose lives in those games. And I'm fine with that. I love how balls hard the Zero games were. It also prevented a lot of people from really enjoying them. So if you want to use those, go for it. Now, that's the same logic I have for basically, like, any kind of retro game. Some of them are really hard to get to 
for people to enjoy nowadays, because gaming's come along so far, so... I want, as, as a retro streamer, I want people to play retro games, because they're fun games, but people write them off now because they're old. They are genuinely good games, and uh, mm -hmm. if save states or uh, or rewind makes it more palpable for people, then it's perfect. Yeah, it's not like I disliked Zelda 2, but it was like, okay, without the save states, this is not worth it because it's really unforgiving. If it was that each dungeon you got in after you got a game over, you start back in that like it is with the final one, I wouldn't have cared. I really hope there's nothing in this room otherwise, right? Like, I, I'm i afraid to experiment. You could, I honestly you could don't stay. know. I will assume since you are safe worried since, about losing your last life. Yeah, since this seems like a room just full of spikes, I'm just gonna assume I'm good. I mean, how many warp squids are we at right now? There may Two. be a warp squid there. One. Oh, we've only gotten one so far. Whoa, Shit. Wait, what? For some reason, I thought we had two, but no, I think that's right. I think we have only found one. Uh, okay. We've seen, we've seen two others. That's what it is. <laughs> but now that you have the harpy, you should theoretically be able to get all five. Mm-hmm. All right, we have door options. Oh, now that you have Harpy 2, you, if you find the exit, you can go hit a save pretty easily. Mm. Well, there's Warp Squid number two. Yay. Harpy oh, shot is so awkward. Okay. She's not that bad. I think you can't fly just straight up. You have to be moving forward. Harby, yeah, Harvey Harby Shantae is slippery on the ground. The reason the Great Palace in Zelda 2 starts you off there instead of the beginning of the game is if you die is because the Famicom disc version, the Great Palace is on one side of the disc while the rest of the game is on the other. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That sounds right. Great Palace Final Dungeon? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. I'm so afraid there's gonna be spikes on this slide. <laughs> yep! You have to harpy. We got harpy at least, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Risky. Hi, Risky. It's been so long since we saw you. We found your twin sister. You why would you? Why like would you do it like that? What the the sliding down the thing? I mean, it was worth a shot. All right, where is it? Yeah, I'm just gonna farm twelve gems. It's not that big a deal. Mm-hmm. No, why do I keep talking to the person running the... It's the same message because every time. You're... Because you're holding the run button? No, I actually stopped to, to check. Oh, okay. You just, you know, you just make it... It, make it, it is just a habit. Levels. It is just a habit. Alright, 12 gems. Shouldn't be that... Oh, right, these guys. So you, you should still have Harpy, but... Some people want to confirm. Yeah, I, I do. do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, you don't lose any progress yeah, when you die. That's why I've been mm -hmm. get, actually actively getting game overs. Yeah, that's the yeah. that's the main reason why I say it's more forgiving because not only does each death just put you back into the room, but also it uh, if you get an actual game over, you don't lose progress like you do in every other game. Thank God they're dropping five each time. Why I don't Shanta know why you said that. 
Because they think they've literally dropped five every time. Like, I think it's pre it's programmed in. Okay. <laughs> You only lose progress after a game over after if you quit after one. All right, so all mm -hmm. your progress is like kept in the internal memory, but if you actually shut off the game, then it wipes it all. Which makes sense. Yeah. All right. Here's a secret. Down, up, up. Use this dance to turn the tables on your foes. Did that get saved? Like, do you have it on your dance menu? No, it's not on the dance menu. You have to remember it. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, ha! Hold the run button. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, so this transformation is apparently busted, but can it literally do everything? Not fly. Okay. Because you can technically get it before Harpy. They don't want you to break it that much. Yeah, so this is the Game Boy Advance exclusive uh, dance. It's combo the first three. So you can spider spider climb, monkey climb, elephant climb. But you still have to turn to a harpy. Yes. Speaking of. Alright, so it's not on any of my lists. I just have to remember the number, essentially. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Right. It, even though there is a slot for it there. No, no that's, that's for that's Bandit Town. Town. Yeah, it's Bandit Town. Oh, right, 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 right. Elephants can climb? Yeah, they climb down with with their weight. <laughs> with gravity. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, someone said I can get the last one now. The last Firefly. I assume that means it is uh, to the left of, uh, where the dungeon is? Because they said, like, I wouldn't be able to get back without Harpy, which makes me think I need... It's gotta be to the left, right? Right? I figure, probably. So if you want to go get it now or after the dungeon, that's your call. I mean, I might as well get it now. Which form has all the climbing? The one we just got, Tinkerbat. Yeah. Who designed this fucking map? Jesus Christ! The people who didn't want you to just win when you got Harpy. I guess. If there's nothing up here. This is all just spikes for the sake of spikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess what I have to do all over again! Because they want you to still at least try. Oh, come on. You touch it for a split second? Seriously? It's not falling, it's climbing, but wrong. Alright, so did anyone say where the last one was? Not explicitly, but I think it's to the left. You can well, easily it's get night time, so now I, now I gotta know. And right underneath you should be, like, the, uh, save, the save man. Yeah. Well, might as well take advantage of that, then. Unmitigated hatred potential of tiny slopes. Alright, where's that fuck? Where's that final firefly? I don't know. I've lost you. Yeah, I'm back at the beginning of the area again because I died. I hit spikes and died. I think the calm feed went down. Oh. Ghost forest, final firefly. Ooh, that far away, huh? Alright, well, I'll be back in a second, then. Alright.
Just taking damage for no real reason. So this screen or the next screen? It's at the very beginning where you first entered. So on the left or on the right? Left. Ah, fuck. Alright, well, I might as well get it now anyways. So here on the left. Playing like a scrub. Yeah, let's... I'd rather not have to do some backtracking. Yeah, <laughs> good thing those arrows don't do double damage in your flight form. Yeah. I'm glad Shantae gets to slide. So it's up here? Yep, that's definitely a place for it. What a weird spot for it. I think they just wanted to make sure that there was something that, like, needed Harpy. Alright, we've got um, two minutes left before next break, so honestly this seems like a good time. We'll just wait here to get the last Firefly, then go to town and see what it does. How dance the song of double time. It'll be very helpful at the moment. This is bringing back memories of earlier today and yesterday, where I was trying to find the zombie caravan because I didn't get enough warp squids when I first visited it. As Steven would say, read any good books lately? <laughs> nah, no, you're going, how hey, y'all doing? I did, uh... Fin I did reorder order the uh, next couple of books in the My Hero manga. Ooh, that reminds me, I gotta order the Fist of the North Star manga reprint slash translation. Alright, final Firefly. Cool, came back just in time. Yeah, we got 12. Nice. So let's dance our way back to uh, Watertown and see what it does. Down, up, right, left, A, B. And then we can see if the zombie caravan is close to Bandit Town. I don't think you can use warp dances until you learn them. The game, like, just doesn't allow it. No, but the caravan could be close to the town. Oh, I mean, I was answering somebody else in the chat. Oh, said, okay. Firefly Shrine. And we'll have to find <laughs> out next break. Hang on, I'll do it now. <laughs> That's what that sound was. Hey, I've got enough fireflies to light up these runes. Oh, it's the healing dance. Wow, I can use this dance to swap 10 gems for every empty heart. That needs refilling, very nice. Too bad I'm broke. Is it a transformation or does it just happen? You probably need 10 gems to find out. Down up B, yeah. Because yeah. like in, in other games it's a dryad transformation, so I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. That's very helpful. 
If we had money. If we had money. Who are we paying here exactly? Eh, it's, it's monetary cost for transformation. You're grinding them up and then injecting it straight into your veins. Yeah, we're, chew we're chewing light. the money. The, we're chewing on the money to turn it into magic, to mana. This is, see, this is like, it's like Yakuza Zero, where you eat the money in order to invest in yourself. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. I've never yep. heard it put that way before. But it's correct. <laughs> that is that's how it's described. They're just like, have you ever tried investing in yourself? You mean like joining gym membership? Nah, that's the same as throwing your money away. I mean eat it. <laughs> chew I it. I meant Swallow. chew it chew it up like a burger. That's basically what you're doing. The money just vanishes into yourself. <laughs> Alright. Let's drop some eggs. I love the gif in the top just because that's probably one of my favorite Chante animations ever. I can't wait until I have- I have free time again. Until I'm recharged and I can make that in 3D. What, the butt wiggle? Yes, the, the crawl of the butt wiggle. Or do you mean the John Cena ping pong one? That's my favorite- that's my favorite Chante too. Yeah, I'm gonna make Shantae doing that. <laughs> wait, Shantae playing beer pong Cena? would actually be kind of hilarious. All I see is a ping pong ball. <laughs> Bob and I are making the same joke. <laughs> Alright. Red Rider four two four two for twenty nine. Jose go nineteen ninety three for forty. Ellis zero for thirty. Stuff of Sunny for fifty four. Chaos Razor three two seven for eight. Uh, Zavers one for seven. A Wild Zangoose for twenty five. Silver Blaze for seventeen. ASIP Meme Lord for sixty nine. Nice. Chun Li Wan for forty. Valentin Zanola for twenty five. Uh, Maester Yoshi for two. And that's it. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Why does John Cena not have teeth in this gif? Oh god, I didn't realize that till now. It's just because he's curled his lips around his teeth. His teeth are also invisible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the natural state of the man. <laughs> At Green least Day something has to be invisible. Green Day Rock with farewell, Johnception. Hi, why am I here? Not where I thought that was going. All right. Jake Zero with what Shantae really wants. You will give me an inner tube strapped to my chest. Was that Half Genie? When did that sounded like Christina V? But That's definitely that, Christina that V. Definitely is her. But what was that? <laughs> that has to be the the Giga Mermaid stage in Half Genie. <laughs> That's the only time I could think that an inner tube was needed. Uh, game fan with reds yeah, right that, here. I don't, I don't think that's in a Shantae game. Where the fuck yeah, it might is be a red? different role. <laughs> HB Bowsy 64 with. Wait, where's this elevator going? Four. Oh no. Just waiting on the ride. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> I realized it. I realized it further. And well I guess I don't need the the wait this time. <laughs> Nova always must pay. <laughs> Nicely done, Bowsy. Still with hopefully it's eggs. Eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What in the world's in the carton tonight? I have a feeling I know what I'm going to find in the carton tonight, but I've been surprised before. Hopefully it's eggs. Nope! That's Aww. happened before. And we've looped. All right, we're going to go to break when we come back. Uh, Art Block, and we will do the last segment of Shantae for the night. Yeah, I figured we weren't going to beat the game tonight. Because there is a fifth dungeon, right? Mm. I am actually asking this question. I actually don't know. I oh. don't remember. 
Because if they're okay, if there's 20 in all, five in it. No, that says that there should only be four. Or if there's a fifth dungeon, then there's no squids in it. Yeah, there. If there's going to be another dungeon, then there's no squids in it. Interesting. All right. There, there, there might be a little collection of like final challenges. I don't know if I'd call it a dungeon so much as just a last push to the boss. It's the final yeah. dungeon before the final boss. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'll, yeah, I'll ask this too then. Uh, do you guys think we can actually beat this tonight? Because we still have to you find basically... three heart containers and then the remaining warp squids. Those are the things we're missing. And I guess the two talismans. Mm. There are a couple things we are missing. Right, you gotta revisit a bunch of yeah. stuff. The tiara is low priority because it's 900 gems, but everything else... I mean, that's easy enough to do if we just do the, uh, do the gecko thing three times. Oh, that's true too. I guess we could just do that. But we don't have the dance to go there. I mean, where are we gonna get the warp squid? We're getting the warp squids. Well, we need to backtrack because we gotta go get the squids. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my point. Is we have to backtrack a bunch. If we're going for 100, percent might leak over to the next stream. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna go use the washroom. I'll be right back. All right, chatter chatter, what up? How you doing? I'm incredibly like we happy didn't, this week. If we didn't care about 100%, we could beat the game tonight. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Indians on Miraculous Ladybug. I've seen like three or four episodes of it when I was uh, t when I was an after school teacher in my Taekwondo school. I have no idea what Miraculous Ladybug is. Uh, it's basically Sailor Moon. But the character is named Miraculous Ladybug. Okay, you hate all spiders, even sexy ones? It's not a thing. <laughs> if, if, it, if, it, if there's a sexy spider, that's a sexy thing that has spider parts, but that's not a sexy spider. But in France, okay. I was, that's what I wasn't sure about, just like, I don't remember where it's from. It wasn't bad, but it was also just like, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, Capella, I'm with you. I played all three DKC SNES games, and I have to say I think I like three the best. Three is my favorite. I played that the most with my sister as a child. Also, it's got the most variety of stages. In the sense that, like, they play with a lot of mechanics for a short time, but they're very creative levels. Yeah, it was just... Uh, when I was watching it, I was just, like, uh, looking at this, I'm like... The these are so many story beats that I can just predict because I know how Sailor Moon's story beats work. <laughs> Two kicks your fucking ass. Two is a great soundtrack. Two is hard. Even when you know what's going on, two is hard. Yeah, that's what I hear from a lot of people. I still find it funny that it's do that they're called the Donkey Kong game, the, the Donkey Kong Country games. Donkey Kong's only playable in one of them. Yeah, but they're literally called Donkey Kong Country. The country's still the same. They're all Kongs. He's involved in some way, shape, or form. Yes, he's Princess Peach. You can give one way for one neg neglected franchise two way forward. What do you pick? Neglected franchise A. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of love for many neglected franchises just because they, they, I kind of forget about them. What's the thing that I really enjoy that I haven't had any touch on recently? Does Bayonetta count? <laughs> <laughs> Kami is apparently getting mad at people constantly asking and saying that it's cancelled now. Well, that's- I'm sorry, I- Kamiya, that's on you. You announced a thing and then you haven't said anything about it for years. Like, not even a status update, that's on you. <laughs> Yes, absolutely, don't bother the man, but you also have to be prepared to be bothered with that as a situation. Yeah, Wario Land would probably be a good series for Way Forward. So, like Pikmin 4. Yeah, I mean, it's almost done on Wii U. 
FF9 is getting an anime? Cool, I still want to play that game, actually. Good way forward to the Mario RPG franchise. That's not abandoned, though, is it? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Because, uh... Because Alpha Dream is defunct. Nintendo has the rights to it. They could give it to somebody else, but Alpha mm. Dream itself is defunct. Drop everything and play FF9? No! I've already got now Dark Deity on the go. I want to get to Near Replicant. That's a huge thing. I've got an extra hive swap lined up. I've got a, a whatever Juker wants me to play for something. I gotta finish Conquest. I have to finish Age of Calamity and Xenoblade DE. <sighs> there we go. So much on the go. I mean, almost. I'm all. <laughs> I have so many things to do as well. I have so many RPGs. <clears throat> Ah, uh, okay. Gift wall is just, I, uh, I am, I, I understand why, because you're the much bigger streamer, but I am very jealous that you've got all these Shantae versions of yourself. <laughs> you mean the, the two I have on screen? There's three. The third one's actually Rosalina. Yeah, that's a, that's a right, gift but you've also that like, made. Yeah, well, that's not, that's not Rosa John. Rosalina I'm not saying that's too. Rosa John. That's literally <laughs> Rosalina wearing Shantae's outfit. <laughs> Yeah, that's the somebody completely unrelated to the stream, to us. <laughs> yeah, that's the somebody else. The bottom who just ones likes. are both made by viewers for uh, for the stream. Just let me be jealous and salty already. <laughs> I mean, you can be jealous and salty of two of them. <laughs> There's very little difference. This is also true. <laughs> Fair enough. That's why we. That's why we're trying to make Rosa John actually like different with like the clothing and everything, because it's just like. Yes, Rosalina and Rosa John, literally same. Where's the top left from? Uh, it's an artist called Starlet. Yeah, C Starlet. Yeah, I think it's their uh, Twitter. With two, t with two T's. She does a lot of fun. She does a lot of fun art. You should give her a follow. Yeah, they do a lot of really nice Rosalina art. Oh, so, uh, Jig Zero sent me a picture saying, here's where that line for my second egg is from. Uh, it looks like it's from a Senran Kagura game, actually. Ah. Oh. It's hard to tell because of the character. The font also makes me think it's uh, a Tales of game. It looks like Berseria, actually, but... Rosadon needs to be legally distinct. Yes. Basically. Hello, non-specific Rosajon. Aside from her assets, Rosalind kind of just is Rosalind with glasses to an extent. Exactly, that's why we're trying to like change her outfit, make her actually stand out more. That's why some people uh, draw in like the blue streaks of hair and the glitches in the hair. It is Brazaria. Okay, cool. You know, we're all cringe. Don't worry. Nick, you're the one who posted cringe. <clears throat> you're the one who should lose subscribers. Why are you all saying cringe? Mm. I don't know. Camille, no, you're not extra cringe. You don't get to claim that title. <laughs> I, I just like that uh, thing from when that meme was happening where Otacon was yelling at Snake that he should lose subscribers instead. I love when memes happen and they just uh, make banter between Snake and Otacon out of it. <laughs> Alright, let us quickly check Donos. Our block caught up to us by the looks of it. Montreal Canadiens say, but who wants a Canadian team to win the cup? I would actually like that to happen. I'm guessing based on that message, that is not actually the case. How are they doing in their series? Tied 2-2 against Vegas. Oof. I'm torn. I want a Canadian team to win the cup, but I also want Vegas to win because they're the youngest team in the league. 
And uh, next year is when Seattle Kraken, I think, start playing. Or next season, rather. So uh, they won't be the youngsters anymore. So I'm torn on that one. Nah, we'll keep Lord Stanley's Cup here in America, thanks. I mean, let's be real. Most American teams have more Canadians on them than the Canadian teams do. So, at this point, the Cup's always going to Canada in some way, shape, or form. But it would be nice, at least in title, for it to be the case. Tampa lead 3-2. Montreal lead, or Montreal and Vegas are tied 2-2. Keep an eye on that, then. All right. Megan says, Hey, John, I just wanted to throw in a dono for no reason. I wanted to say that I recently started to stream Fire Emblem Three Houses, and my friend does Limbo, and we were going to uh, we're gonna team up for Okami. Thanks for being a great force in gaming and inspiring me. Cool. Congrats, Megan. Hopefully you're having fun with streaming. Two really good games. Bleach Bummer says, if I may ask, as I can't remember if you answered this before, if in theory you did an RPG for a game clearing stream, unless the game is super grind friendly, how would you handle the grinding parts? Asking because I know on screen grinding gets boring. I would probably do exactly what I did with Final Fantasy V, which is uh, between streams I would just grind. If it was necessary. Like, I think we leveled up our characters a little bit to make things easier when we did Final Fantasy V, because we were doing the Fiesta. And uh, we also like leveled up our jobs that way too. So it would just it would just be that like wherever we stopped for the night, we would I would just do any grinding that was needed, and that would let us go through the game a little bit faster. It was basically for stream pacing is why I would do that. If the game doesn't need grinding, then I wouldn't worry about it. So what's happening tomorrow, John? You got interrupted, and never specified. Oh, I did. I right, sorry, but I'll repeat it again. Uh, tomorrow we're doing the bonus stream for. Uh, Coliseum for Chaos Cookie. There's no stream Wednesday, but Tuesday instead is a stream starting around 9 p.m. Mountain, or sorry, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Mountain Time ish. We're gonna be doing that. That'd be good. Xenoblades, uh, the second one, by the way. Mm -hmm. Just telling you that so you don't expect Pyra tomorrow. Pyra. I mean, can we still not tomorrow. Pyra? Can Fine. we still expect Pyra? I could troll and have a save file loaded that's past that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know why everyone said saving Pyra is a big deal. She's been in the party the whole time. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> don't gaslight us all, John. I mean, I'd be fine with it because it means you're playing the game. It's tempting, but I'll be nice. I'll be nice. There are people that genuinely want me to say Pyra on stream, so I'll do it. This campaign is a year strong. We need this. Well, now you gave it away? No, we talked about this <laughs> during Chaos Cookie, I'm pretty sure. Or sorry, I'm, I think about... Rosa John put, pitched the idea. This gets talked about literally every single time. Yeah, this, this, this there is zero surprise here. Both this, both this plan for a joke and just saving Pyra in general. What you should do is wait and instead use the save from Emil's LP Let's and ruin the that. game for myself. Hell yeah! He already, he's already had one Xenoblade game ruined for him. Let's I not think, make it two. I think I also had something else spoiled uh, for this one too, but ironically, I think it was from a piece of art. Well, there there's, al there's also Torna, you know. Probably don't know anything about that one. Fractions. <laughs> Yes, fractions. No, nothing, not enough to work with. Anyways, let's go to Art Block. Art Block starts with me being sus, apparently. Where the fuck is Red? While watching John rage about a Red Mega Vitamin not showing up, I suddenly had this image in my head about John as a crewmate, wondering where the heck the Red crewmate is. So I drew crewmate John. Should I be watching that if I still want to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 blind? I am maybe one hour into the game. <laughs> Yeah, it, like for an average playthrough, you would get to that. You would get to where John is in about an hour. Spoiler: Pyra's in your party. <laughs> basically, what we're saying is, it, basically, yeah, you're look. You got 99 hours of game left unspoiled. I'm saying you'll if be you fine. Had, 
If you have literally seen any trailer, you know <laughs> you... more than John has played. Pretty much. <laughs> From Game Fan, uh, where the heck is Red? Behold, I drew John in the Dragon Ball Z slash Super Style to fit hit with his rage fit about red pills on Dr. Mario. I can't stand classic Dr. Mario R pill RNG. It's so bad. It's so bad. How much do I have to donate to get you to start a new file? You're gonna have to repair some friendships, I feel, if you if you do that. You're gonna need a lot of money for that. You have to donate it to all of us, not to John. <laughs> you joke about 99 hours, but that's actually somewhat accurate. Oh yeah, I know. Xenoblade like Chronicles yeah. 1 is about 100 hours. Most of those games are like that. That mm -hmm. wasn't a joke. That was me actually making a guess. From Vector Knight. Bomberman, 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 shut up. <laughs> Even Bomberman is sick of Ayn's calls. Maybe he's lonely. Hello, John. First, I, first, and I supposedly, potentially last post. Oh, I suppose, potentially last post on the Buru. I know you finished playing Bomberman Generations last game clearing, but I'm very rusty on my art skills, and Bomberman is much simpler to draw than Shantae. That is fair. He was much too cute for my skills and, well, low self-esteem. But you, you did a good job with Ayn and Bomberman. That said, I'm currently quite stressed, and I'm having a hard time doing just anything due to life troubles. And I'm not really able to feel, uh, really able or feel comfortable catching streams, so I've been, uh, binging the VOD channel. Thanks for all the work you do with the Juker, and I, uh, Juker, I and others appreciate it. So yeah, it's just nice to have a literal day's worth of media to listen to so I can get my mind off of things. You and everyone on the mod team are great people. Thanks for providing content, etc. I don't know how to end this. Well, Vector, I'm sorry things aren't going the best for you, but I'm glad that the streams have been something for you to chill to. Your art is, I like your art, dude. Like, Feel free to do more, but if you can't physically for for reasons, I'll understand. Don't worry. It, I don't want it to be an obligation, but just know that if you ever ever want to art again, I'll gladly gladly like to see more. We'll send as many good vibes as we can. Exactly. Thank you, Victor. Next up. Hmm, that bird looking at me sure seems familiar. Revelry in the dark. Sneaky, sneaky. Next up. What? Remember, John, June 2020 never ends. For reference of what I, this is referring to. Oh, yeah. It was I kept saying June every time when it was supposed to be a different month last year. Yeah, next, not August. Because instead of saying August, I kept saying June. But it happened like three times. Regret skipping eggs for time. Still no biblically accurate angels. Hey, have you heard of this thing called Twitch Prime? Oh boy, time to draw girl Johns. Golf, mm. not today. Power trip, Twitch Prime. Grocery shopping, stream delays. More art, golf, wait. Raging stream, Bioshock, Twitch Prime. Yes, yell at Wesker. Stream delays, stream delays. Wesker yells at you, Twitch Prime. Hashtag sponsor, Bioshock. Wait, mom, consider art. Oh no, said Knuckles. Mom, wait, no stream. Twitch Prime, insert joke. June 2020 forever. I, I, I'm go with skipping June 2020, personally. Thanks, Vlox. How long does he stream till? Usually three to four. What? Me? Yeah. Three yeah. or four. Yeah, well, you gotta say the time zone. Well, for my time. For my yeah. time. For uh, Eastern. Eastern. Yeah, uh, we got another hour to hour and a half of the stream left. Probably a little bit more with art blocking that. From Silver Kaze Ninja. Although, if I were to fight, I wouldn't lose to anyone. Funny idea I had after recently getting into Lumpy Touch's videos on YouTube. John... John Chicago Kira and his stand Killer Merp. Powerful. I like the Garfield background. It's perfect. Oh yeah, because this is the Garfield art. Yeah, all right. That's John as, as Kira. That makes sense. Thank you, Kaze. Next up from Joshua8824 Racing. Uh, a story about Massey and there's racing in it? I like it. How I got this shot was thanks to a mod where I can move the camera anywhere I want so that I can take cool pictures like this. Neat. The Link's Awakening Mobile is beating Sonic 2. It's beating 10. But it also says 9 up there. 9 and 10. Next up from Afro Blade Master. Oh, this is cool. I doodled this at work tonight. Was drawing my trans bunny, uh, sorry, Banui OC, who I haven't named yet, and decided to draw her in the Rosa hoodie since I'm hyped for mine to arrive. Patiently, of course. Also, still Pride Month, and while I'm not trans myself, I'll forever be an ally. Cool. Hey. Yeah, someday, someday they'll show up. Two weeks, 
potentially for them being shipped out. We're, we're, we're waiting with bated breath at this point. We're really hoping nothing goes wrong with these hoodies. Please, for the love of God. Thank you, Afro. I like I like the earrings, the heart earrings hanging off the tips of the ears. That's super cute. Next up. It's, oh, a, it's a Jante adorable. in the modern Shante style. Work in progress of Shante, John. As you can see, the skin is a bit too dark. I decided to make the work in progress post the show uh, other that no matter what you think while you're creating while you're creating, stick it out till the end and you will find it's amazing. Note the art in the corner isn't mine, was using it as a color reference. Yeah, that's Jumney's uh, art ref for when we were doing the uh, the numbers for the Buru. So if, if you're just color sampling from it, it looks like you might be from the skin tone. Keep in mind that a photo is going to be a little bit darker than anything showing up on yeah. a screen. And also Jumney's mm -hmm. has white as a background. Yeah. So white on a background is going to sort of change the way something looks. Just in terms of like the contrast. Also, I'm pale. Color tip. Also, I'm pale as fuck. So, yeah. Most of the alls are gonna be pale as well because of that. It's it's super adorable. I don't mean to poo poo down on it. Just giving you some tips. I, I believe I believe they actually have a finished version adorable. up there. I'll show it in a minute here. Uh, from Theta, I said I'd make some forms for Jante, and I'm a random internet person of my word. Most of these are based on actual forms Jante has, albeit with a few changes. Mostly with the color schemes. The snake one's based on the proposed Naga form for Half Genie Hero, but with a cobra motif, and then there's the two original ones. Alright, we've got a butterfly, we've got uh, the Tinker Bat, we've got the cobra one that they talked about, Monkey, the Banui, which does not exist, Sophia the Third in blue, the Mermaid one, the Crab one, and the Octopus one. Sick. Thank you, Theta. So, John Tate would get sunburned to hell and back in Sequin Land. Jante uses a lot of sunscreen. Yeah, just like in uh, just like in beach mode. Is this? I believe this is theirs, right? Yep, yeah, from Purple Fire Kitty. The version with fireflies that I drew, each color up separately, by the way. Sorry if you don't like fireflies. Well, I've got 12 now, so I don't need to worry about them anymore. I like how the jammies also have fireflies on them. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fire Kitty. Jumping back here from Mel. By the way, happy birthday, Mel. Or I guess not anymore. That was yesterday, but happy belated birthday. Trying out one of my birthday gifts from yesterday, a tin of 72 Prismacolor coloring pencils to draw this quick sketch of a new addition to the Johniverse, Spider Jonte, enjoying a slide, while Rosa John isn't enjoying it quite as much. I like the pose. This is a very fun pose. And this is exactly how I expected a spider to slide down on the slide, so I'm a little disappointed in the one in the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this counts as a new, a new addition to the Johniverse, or just it's just one of Jonte's dances. It could be both. It could be the same. Thank you, Mel. Very nice. Next up from Zelda two nine nine seven. This Orko? Yep, it is Orko. <laughs> don't worry, Cringer. I'll use my magic to defend us. <laughs> Your magic? I'm in even worse trouble than I thought. Well, since your He-Man was brought up. I thought I'd draw one of my favorite characters from the Filmation cartoon, Orko. Orko was a Filmation creation and was one of the first characters from the show to get a figure in the 80s toy line. Really? Weird. He was also Lou uh, Shamer's favorite character to voice. I have a favorite moment from the She-Ra cartoon I would love to share in the next comment, but if you don't have time, feel free to skip. Hope all, all, you all like this Orko. This is cute. Well done on the Orko. But yeah, I am going to skip the uh, skip it so we can grab a little more art in there. Sorry, Zelda. Uh, next up. <laughs> Spooder Shantae made you a hoodie. Maybe a bit small, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. This is super cute. I like that it has the color, the colored star and everything. Perfect. Well done. Well done, Spooder Shantae. Next up, I was laughing at this earlier as well, because I knew someone was going to do something like this with the shirt cut meme. Insert unoriginal Rosa John boob joke here. Har har. Anyway, sort of wasted 35 bucks on a Visa vanilla gift card, and I can't exactly use it on either Twitch or Patreon. Wanted to sub for tonight, but I can't because of that. But again, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Wait, I thought I thought Visa gift cards worked on Twitch. Did they change that? You used to be able to sub with a fucking Subway gift card, so when the fuck did that change? I like your free space is literally the free space on a bingo card, too. Nice touch. Thank you, yeah. Daybreaker. Yeah. And we will end on this one. I want... Oh. <laughs> Do you really want to end on this one? 
Maybe we won't. From Ed Mario, you will never <laughs> escape this, John. The fandom will always post this line. Oh, vanilla gift card, so it's not a MasterCard. Oh, I get it. Uh... Wait, no, they still said Visa, though, I thought. Hmm. Babe, have you ever stopped and think about what the hell our lives are? Lukajin said as she looked at her very tired Canadian of a husband. I kind of gave that up after the boobs happened, John said as he looked at his horse milf of a wife. Granted, that type of response is interesting as they're hanging upside down over a campfire as an army of cats dance around them, all while their one-eyed little tabby cat bagel watches on a throne. So, how did this happen? From Chaotic Doctor. So inspired by the writing stream where Bagel popped into the truck out of nowhere, here's the first few lines of a story I'm developing with, with the prompt. What if Bagel had the ability to teleport? Keep working on it and update the brewer on my progress. Also, I might have spelled Luca's name wrong. Uh, you did miss an H. It is L-U-C-A-H-J-I-N. Uh, because I didn't want to do real names as much without some explicit permission. John gets a pass as well, Proton John. Well, Luca Jin is also not her real name, but I assume you were referring to Reese. But yeah. Yeah, you're just missing an H next to that J. You're close. Alright. And you know what? Let's sneak in one last one. Because this one's cute. I saw this on Twitter. Yeah. From Spot Combust. Something something Shantae, so Jante. Something something like Shantae's design. Something something now I must sleep because work has been hell. These are super cute, Spawn. So what are what are the three colors for? I don't know if they have any real representation. I think they just might be different colors they decided to do the art in. Mm hmm Because Jante's usually in like this color blue here, the backdrop. So I think Power, it was just wisdom and courage. It's the right colors. Uh, and there you There's go. Costume differences to them too. The one on the left has shoulders on it, and the hip sash is different. Well, well, because the yeah, this because this part here was stuff. added in the later designs. So it, and it, this is classic Shantae. This is modern Shantae, oh, okay. and this is the uh, slave Leia, Leia design Shantae. equivalent. Yeah. <laughs> so they're all from different games. Yeah, I think gotcha, this is, gotcha. I think that's specifically the design they used for magic mode in uh, Risky's Revenge. Yes, that looks correct. That would explain the belt buckle, the the fucking like He Man belt buckle there. <laughs> These are cute, Spawn. Thank you so much. You're probably gonna catch this in the vod later, but thank you. All right, more to go, but we'll get there in the last break of the night. Cause now let's see how far we can get in the game. <laughs> Okay, no more oh, fireflies no, to find. Mm -hmm. I say, what do you know? It is just a sash. Yeah. I forgot that they they, they changed that. Well, because I was wondering where they show you what you've bought other than going to the shop. That makes more sense that it actually reflects on her sprite. Yeah, she does have the armbands here too. Is that all stuff that you bought? Uh, I, I can't remember what Could they be. were. Armband was one of them. Like the armbands, armband, the whatever. sash. There's definitely a, a, a like a battle sash, I think. So that would explain the little belt yep. thing. I guess the tiara would look different than what we're. Well, well no, no. Right here now. we can we can make this actually really simple. Hang on. Start up. Open a new save file, John. Please, that would no, just make sense. No, I don't even have to do this. I literally have a load state from my playthrough I did for TRG or for TRG for the okay. podcast. See. No gauntlets. Uh, so, okay. The sash is a different color, uh, and the okay, shoes so are a different I, color. I thought, I thought that the that the the upper armband, the one that Oops, looks like blob, uh, I thought no. that would have been the addition. No, the upper one is there in our classic design. Okay, so the so because like her her wrist bracers, the bracers know, became I, I a, the bracers I, became a regular part of her outfit later on, but early on she doesn't yeah. have them. Yeah, because they're they're like they're just part of how people draw and picture Shantae now. I mean, because they go. made them massive in Half Genie Hero. Right, but I mean, like, it. They just look good, you know? Like, mm -hmm. they break up the silhouette of her arm a little bit, they give her a different shape, a little bit more unique. It, One it sort of fits with the idea of a genie to have those type of, like, gold. just additions, accessories. Want an easy speedrun world record? There are ze anyway, zero entries for Shantae Game Boy Color 100% on speedrun.com. What? How? That seems surprising. Enter this. <laughs> Enter your stream run. I, I don't think like, I actually can. Run. I don't think I actually can because it's been in pieces. Oh yeah, any ah. percent has a has eleven entries. Debug mode has one entry, but yeah, no one has done a hundred percent speed run. Fair enough. Probably because it's a pain in the ass routing the fireflies because it depends on day night cycle. 
I mean, you just go into the caravan. It automatically makes it night. True, but then you have to route for that, and you probably want to route everything early if you can. Okay. Uh, where are we? We're in Watertown. What should also we do? Also, difficulty getting the game until recently. That is also true. Yeah. Also, that being a problem. But emulated emulation usually counts for this, and it was pretty easily emulated. What mm -hmm. should we do now? We can go back to the dungeon and finish it. Uh, we have heartbeat, so we can basically explore anywhere now. Because we're still missing three containers. 100% category got purged at some point. There were a couple entries back in the days, but they removed them when they added the no splicing rule. Ah. Ah. That actually makes a bit more sense. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh... At this point, let's warp to wherever the caravan is and hope that it's close to where we need to be. Down, up, left, left, A, B. I kinda miss this dance mechanic. It sucks to input and it takes a long time. But, like, it is interesting actually having to do different dance moves. I liked, um, was it Risky's Revenge that had it where you had to do the inputs, but it was less strict? It wasn't on a timer, it was just, yeah, just type them in. But I, I also I, I, really, I prefer the, the method they go with now where it's just like, yeah, no, just either press a button to get your transformations, and they happen instantaneously, or for specific dances, it's just hold the direction. It's, it's much nicer from a player perspective, from a, like, responsive input, for sure. Not arguing that. It's just yeah. an interesting idea to make you actually have to dance to do the dance magic. Oh, in Risky's Revenge, it is, like, uh, hold the button for her to do a specific dance move. Yeah, I, yeah. I think in Risky's, it's like, you still have to sort of wait a minute for it to So it's like the first one. dance. Like, she has, like, three different moves. The first one, when after you get it, you turn into monkey. The second one is elephant. The last one is mermaid. Yeah, because Risky's Revenge is very short by comparison. Mm -hmm. It's, like, three hours versus this one being about nine. This is the longest Shantae, apparently. At least according to how long to beat. And way forward. And way forward, yeah. Did they actually admit that? They were like, yeah, I think this is the longest is the first one. Yeah, either that... I They definitely admitted it was the it was probably the hardest, but I, I'm pretty sure they said it was the longest, too. I can definitely see this being the hardest. Oh, shit, right. Can't touch that. <laughs> Your claws cannot grip. Apparently not. Jesus. Boy, I can't wait till we get the ability to attack his harpy. <laughs> Whoop. Hey, look, more fireflies. Yeah, that's exactly what those are. These ones are bigger, though. We also need to figure out where in the world the, the three missing hearts are. I'm... I we we passed one I'm pretty sure back in that area that looked like it needed harpy to get through in the underground cave but I also kind of forgot where that cave was. It was on the way to Bandit Town, that's all I remember. Who's pinging me? 
No proof that doesn't count as a sexy spider. That falls into what I said about that being a sexy thing with spider parts. But it's what, not a what sexy spider. What the fuck? What? Sexy spider? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's in VIP room. No, People were bugging the, uh, me. We're, we're, we're talking about spiders. It's the, the uh, character from uh, Monster Musume. Oh, uh, well, okay. I've, I've read Spinneret, all right? There's one of those characters in that game. I mean, in that comic. Shantae has a form like that in one of the uh, one of the later games. Yeah. It's spider-ish, but it's not a spider. I have to refight them all? Fuck. It's just a human glued to a spider. Exactly. It's a human cut off at the waist and, like, smushed onto a spider. Not even stitched. I bet if you just pushed her, she'd fall over. The term is drider. There you go. Not a spider. There's no S in that word. Thank you, Rionian. I'm gonna take your word as 100% fact. Hey, underdog, nobody has it going. Thank you for the raid. You came uh, in at a great time. Yeah, as we're arguing about half spiders, apparently. And humans with spider parts glued on. Is a mermaid a fish? No. Is a centaur a horse? No. Is a naga a snake? No! I mean, here's the thing. Mermaids... The answer to all of these are no! Mermaids Good. aren't fish because they have the wrong tails for it. I'm taking control of this train wreck. <laughs> Countermeasures. What else were they gonna do with that? Underdog Nobody, thank you so much for the raid. I see also Miss Shiva raiding earlier. Top, okay! All right! All right! Oh fuck, that's right, I missed the second part of Lifehack Bingo, shit! Damn it. Damn it, Tom, why'd you have to do two streams of Lifehack Bingo? I was watching the first one, having a great time. Then I had to go actually entertain myself. What the fuck, dude, I don't know how to do that. Anyways, here's a countermeasures for you too. Muted Kokom's dream of electric sheep. I like how you said that immediately as I unmuted you. I was trying to do that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Unsanity Live, Tom. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your stream was good. I, I'm angry, Tom, because I care. I actually legitimately was watching uh, Lifehack Bingo last night. I was having a great time. I always, I always make sure to fit that in when you do it. 
It also helps that Sunday is my day off, so I tend to not be working on anything around that time. Love you, bud. Can't wait till con serve again so we can bump into each other at every con again. <laughs> it's always great to see you in chat for Bingus. Tom, I need to yell at you for a second. Because of you, I have started saying Fingy. <laughs> I have literally picked up saying Fingy because of you. In the same tone and everything. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for comms as well, but it also means I need to actually finish my cosplays. I tried to finish one of them today, <laughs> I went to Target and everything, but I couldn't find a thing that worked well enough. <laughs> I love that you even have a Fingy's emo, it's perfect, it's fucking perfect. Uh... That is pretty good. Miss you, bud. All right. Uh, so both both raids, Underdog, Nobody, and On Sunday Live. You're joining us while we're playing the original Shantae for Game Boy Color. This is uh, the Switch re-release of it, but we're going through it blind for game clearing. We are in Dungeon Four of five-ish. We've gotten most everything so far. We're trying to see how far we can get before we uh, wrap up for the evening. Heck yeah, it's a favorite of mine. Yeah, this is my first time playing through it in full. It's been fun. It's the only Shantae I haven't beaten. It feels rough compared to the others, but it still is pretty good. Okay, where have we not been? Uh, the boss room. Well, I gathered that much, thanks. <laughs> but we're still missing two squids, at least. Well, I guess three, because now we can get all five. Mm-hmm. There we go. We're getting lucky that we're getting the golem every time. It's a good thing that, uh, Kaparaja is a steel type. Well, okay, there's one. Now, how do we get to them? Oh, we can also go this way now, too. Adriana says Fingies too. I'm surprised you didn't pick it up from her. There's just something about the way that taunt, the way that Unsanity Live says fingies, just so excitedly, that I, I, I'm just like, that's really fucking good, and I just uh, naturally picked it up. Cop Roger, pay recurring gen designs. Yeah, I like it too. It's John, really cool. did you see the video from Modern Vintage Gamer where he was revealed that he actually worked on porting this? No. It's cool, oh yeah, though. that was a really cool. That was a really cool video. Basically, he went into just like what he had to change, like uh, where he changed out the button layout because it's like, yeah, this makes more having it like this makes more sense considering modern Shantae games with having attack on uh, Y and A, yeah. and jump on B. Yeah, the, the layout they actually have in the modern port, I don't know if it'll come up on screen because we have it cut off slightly. Uh, X for dance, Y or A for attack, and B for jump actually feels pretty natural. It does feel like the other games. They actually uh, even reworked some of the sprite. Uh, hit pause real quick. So that A to go to the dance menu, it was B. Oh. Mm-hmm. Weird. Because, like, the B button was for talking. I mean, B is still for talking. Mm. Select was dance on Game Boy Color? Yeah, I mean, I think... So no, Select doesn't work on this one. I mean, it makes nah, sense. The, the system only had four buttons. They had to work with what they, what they had. Mm-hmm. I think the... I want to say the uh, 3DS version, it, like... Default maps Y to select or X to select. Because it's like, nope. because they knew just like, yeah, we want to make it similar to the other games. <sighs> Alright, 
right, so we know in the giant open room that we can get one of the one of the warp kids. Yeah, spikes have always been instant death, or at least like instant warps back to the beginning of the room. Yeah, but they're they're just more punishing this one because you have a li finite amount of lives. That's the one downside mm -hmm. to it. All right, let's just explore around here then. Good thing about transformations not uh, not uh, falling into the portals is that you can actually fly with no real care. Yeah, I gotta worry about spikes. Well, I was hoping that was gonna be a one-up, but I'll also take a big heal. And now to lose another life in the exact same spike. Oh no, never mind. That was the room before it. So we need what? Missed. One more? Yeah. I'm glad that everybody in chat always says, it misses, it is mommy. Yeah. So here's the question, where have we not been? Other than the boss Wait. room. Uh, what exactly is a harpy? Basically, it is a bird girl. Like, it's a, myth it's a mythological creature in... I don't remember where. Oh, I used to remember. I don't anymore. I'm pretty it's sure it's a harpy. Technically, I'm sure it's Greek. It is Greek. Okay. Gex, yeah, didn't Hercules fight harpies? I couldn't remember if it was Greek or Celtic. Oh wait, no shit. That was another one up back there. Fuck. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, Jason fought harpies. I don't think. I don't think harpies appeared in Odyssey. Sirens did, and sirens and harpies were kind of similar in Greek in the original Greek myths. Because sirens were more depicted as vultures than uh, mermaids. That was the other reason that I wasn't sure if they were Greek or not was because I'm like. I'm just like, I... <laughs> ah, shoot, we've already been here. Uh, the one time where a full-blown in-game map would be very helpful. Well, let's go to the big open room. Get our health stock back up. Hey! Is that the last one, or are we at... No, that's number four. Okay. So we are missing one more. I just do not know where. But there's still parts of the dungeon we haven't explored, so it's entirely possible that we uh, haven't found them yet. So we got the two in this room. No, we got the three in this room, rather. Because there was one in that alcove, one in the dead center of the room, and one way up top. So at the very least, if we need to look up a list, we know those three are done. Yeah, people started seeing sirens as uh, mermaids because, like, when you're reading the Odyssey, or if you, let's face it, nobody actually read the Odyssey, they read synopsis of it. Uh, it was basically just like, okay, these are creatures that are luring uh, men to their death uh, by singing, and they're, like, on an island. So they're just like, oh, then they're mermaids. Yeah, no, Odyssey is not a hard read at all. Isn't it just a long read? Isn't that the real reason people long. complain about it? Not even that long, honestly. Or at least not the one I had. I <laughs> we had to read something. We had to read a uh, read some sort of like classical book for uh, my senior year of English over the summer. I'm just like, yeah, why not? Yeah, I've wanted to re read Odyssey for a while now. Let me actually just do it. God, you guys had homework over the summer? Yeah. Well, okay. It was... Technically, nothing was due until, like, a month after school had started, but they're just like, read it read it during the summer. You have nothing else to do that... Just, like, read a book during the summer. That sucks, dude. I'm gonna be real with you. That fucking sucks. Eh. 
read one book over all of summer. Well, no, cool, because you had to re like they wanted you to report on it, right? Yeah, after a month from school started, you could have yeah. actually not read it during the summer and finished it during the school year. I guess, but that still kind of sounds shitty. Maybe that's just me talking, but like, yo, any any Canadian viewers here? Did you ever have that in your school? Because I definitely did not have that in mine. That's basically, it, no matter what, that's summer homework, which is fucking stupid. The summer is supposed to be a break for kids. Ah, shoot. Like, may maybe it's different for me because my mom was a teacher, and I know for a fact that she would not want to have her students have to do any work over the summer. Considering her fucking kids were she had to teach her <laughs> kids too, and she would never live it down if she gave either of us homework over the summer. It's considered a required reading. Odyssey was not on the list. It was not required. It was not. Uh, she had a list, and uh, I'm just like. Will you count if I read the Odyssey? Just like, yeah, if you will actually read it. And I did. She she told my parents later on, just like, I'm very, I'm very shocked that actually that anybody actually read Odyssey for this assignment. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we've been here. Uh, or maybe we have. Some of these places are starting to blend together. Uh oh. Be faster do monkey. Another key. I mean, I should, guess I should also clarify, this was for an AP class. Okay, that makes Which a bit is... more sense if it's for an AP class, but still. Still really fucking shitty. I realized I forgot that part of the story. I'm just like, oh, wait a second, that would actually be important. That, yeah, <laughs> that was kind of important. Okay, so this was the room that we fell down into and lost our last life. So this leads back to the wide open spike room. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, so we've been here. Yeah, AP is advanced placement. Basically, in high school, it's a college level course that will count towards your credits whenever you go to whatever college you go to. If you pass the uh, test, anyway. Okay, let's see here. We've definitely not been here since we just unlocked this. And there's our last warp squid. squid. Well, we have four to go still. Yeah, Three but, to go that, still. yeah but now <laughs> we got all the ones here, at least. Oh, and we did have two keys. Hell yeah! So I think that means we're actually at the boss door. We might be, yeah. Well, they give me hearts. That, that's definitely a, sh a sign. Can't wait till we tell our new our new genie friend what we were able to accomplish. This looks like the place. There's the twinkle stone, but no sign of risky boots. Did she give up after losing the first three stones to me? I mean, to be honest, that's kind of fair. Where did she get it? Wait. Never mind. I was gonna say, where did she get a dragon? But nope. Oh, looks like Kokomfi went down. Uh oh, yeah, no time for questions now. What? Oh, I guess that, that is the boss. Okay. 
So now the question Man, becomes, what's dragon. the best way to <laughs> fight you? Uh, usually a holy sword. Sometimes ice. Is it not the dragon I have to hit, but the rider? Looks like I have to hit the rider. Well, let's try the tried and true. What is our dance reveal? Now this room is huge, Jesus! That looks a little bit like a Zelda enemy, just off the dragon. It's like, uh, the boss of Eagle Tower. Well, I have no way of attacking him, so I don't know what the point is of him tracking me. No, I'm not talking about the dragon, I'm talking about the rider. Oh no, I'm talking about the boss! I'm just- I'm just straight up talking about the boss right now. Oh, I was talking to chat in that instant, sorry. Oh, sorry. Somebody said Gliok, and I'm just like, no, I don't mean them. See here. Will this work? No. This definitely. Like if it, if I were gonna compare the dragon to a Zelda boss, it would be Aquamentus from uh, the Oracle games. I'm missing something here. These things still don't do anything. tried yet. Nope, nothing to do with you. Can't smash the pedestal as far as I can tell, so I don't think the elephant's gonna be useful. an item. I didn't see anything I'd get with Harpy. And the hitbox is the rider, as far as I can tell. There's some- I have to be missing something here. Like, he'll follow me up. Can I get a sword stuck in the ice, maybe? I can get him stuck in the ceiling, but that's not actually doing anything. Hmm. <laughs> Or is it a case of, hang on. No, I can't transform midair, so that's not it either. Yeah, we can't uh, attack with Harpy yet. S is this just, I have to wait for them to drop down low enough that I can hit them? That seems a bit excessive. That does, that seems extremely really. excessive. There's, there's something that I've got to be missing here. So I saw you hidden near him. Did, it, did any damage sound happen? No. Okay. This fight is dumb. It goes against what you would do, think, based on the rest of the game. Interesting, okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll we're, gonna, out. we're gonna see if we can figure it out, but I, I'm already very confused and concerned with this. The only other thing I can think of is using items, and if that's the case, that's stupid. Can't be the stomp, because that's a move I had to find. Mm-hmm. And involving Harpy would make the most sense, but again, Harpy can't attack right now. Is there anything I can pick up? No. Do I have to take damage from the sword? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. You have to play Mario. So I was right, it did need Harpy. 
Uh, yeah, now I can see why someone said that goes against what the rest of the game has taught you, because Harpy can't attack! And that doesn't work on anything else, I don't think. Unless it does, does it? Not that I'm aware of. Here, I'm gonna expedite this a little bit. Where's my double mint? That's only, that's so only a little bit of damage, but still better than nothing. I get they're trying to make a Joust reference or something, but like, really? So yeah, can someone confirm I mean, if this is the only place that the Harpy can actually do the stomp? I want to know if it's just this spot. If it's... If it is possible in other places, I will forgive it a little bit. If it's only in this spot, then it's dumb. Only place, yes, just this boss. That's wow. so stupid! That's so stupid! That is actually bad design. Yeah, no. The other boss the other bosses are really well designed for like being like for <laughs> teaching you how to do things, even though I missed what you're supposed to do with the spider. It's also never explained. Yeah, that would also not help. Oh, you're taking- you're giving me more time to hit you now. Oh my god, another raid! Yo, Jack! What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, let me wrap up this boss fight. Small childs! Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We finally found it, guys. Coldstone. Hi again! I found the twinkle! Shocking! Huh? I pulled off... <laughs> Wait a minute! No, I guess it's... I was about to say, did she put on more clothes by doing that? But I guess she put on the same amount, huh? It was really just the hair that she changed. Mm-hmm. And some of the sash. Different pair of pants. What? Oh, it's showing them taking it out of my inventory. Okay. That makes sense. Apparently she tied me up too. Ha! That ought to shut. Alright, let's run countermeasures.
Jack, Toxic X Eternity, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Also, congrats on 100,000 subs on YouTube. Nicely done, bud. Uh, we're Game Clear and Shantae 1, the original Shantae. Uh, we're not gonna be live for... Eh, we got a half hour at least, probably. I don't know how much more game we're gonna play. We'll figure that out here in a bit. Ha! That ought to shut you up. Thanks for being a perfect little stooge. Now that you've collected all four stones for me, my Tinkerbats can complete their steam-powered project. Stop by for the grand unveiling. It's sure to be a smash from coast to coast. Ho ho ho! Bye. Yeah, Shante strong! Shante smash! Free! But now, what will I do? Risky has all four stones. There must be some way to find her hideout and end this insanity once and for all. Mimic will know what to do. I better head back to Scuttletown. All right. Here's the situation we're in right now, then. Where... Would the remaining hearts be at this point? I'm pretty sure either one of them or the talisman for one of them is going to be back in the bog. So let's go to the bog at least now. Oh, no, you know what I should have? I should have switched to elephant for this. Damn it. as Harpy. Would you like to know the location for one of them? Sure. Especially if I'm about to skip it by accident. I think you are about to skip it because a lot of people are saying don't leave Mount Pointy. Oops. There's a heart holder right here. Oh, so turn around or in this location I'm in right now. There's one on Mount Pointy left of the dungeon, but you need Harpy for it, and there's one in this zone. Okay. I found it when you were- oh, of course, it's when I fucking gave up. Mm. You gotta stick with your intuition sometimes. Okay, so, uh, No, no. So I believe everybody is saying it's actually map pointy, not here. Like, uh, that was delay. I was gonna say, I felt like I had already seen this. Pretty- pretty extensively. What's a hitbox? I don't know. More of a suggestion, Maybe. I feel. We look to them more as guidelines. Whoop! Sure enough. Hooray! Alright. Alright, the fucking heart holders don't heal you in this game. Ugh. Nope. Alright, well, we know we're pretty sure one's in the bot. Alright, I'm switching to the elephant this time. It was down up B, right? No, that's the Tinkerbat one. No, it's down up B. It's uh, down up up for Tinkerbat, I believe. Which just auto heals. It's not one at a time. Oh. All right, cool. That's sufficient. 
I assume if you don't have the gems for it, it would just go to however many gems you have. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do Tinkerbat Slide, damn it. Oh. All right. I think there's another chance for sliding later. Let's worry about it then. So I do know where one other heart holder Mother is. Motherfucker! <laughs> you, know, you know where what is? I know where one other heart holder is, but I don't know where the last one is. Uh, someone said earlier, and I already forgot what it was they said. They said it was in the it was in the men's uh, desert. Yeah, that's the one I know of. Well, the other one I'm pretty sure is the one I know about here in the bog. Yay! Oh, well, <laughs> that's convenient. Did Shantae originate boop physics? No, nah, I think that's... No, nah, I think that was my Shirinui. Okay, this is, it's my and then dead or alive. Save. Zombie save, man. Thank you, zombie save, man. Think you mean Rouge the Bat? I think my Shirinui is a slightly older than Rouge the Bat. Yeah, my only happened ten years before Rouge. Also, again, dead or alive before... before Rouge the Bat. My is pixel art, so is Shantae! If you're talking- if you specifically want to talk 3D, then yes, Dead or Alive's gonna win out, because I think that's from 96. Mm -hmm. According to Google, Fatal Fury 2 is the first game to have boob physics. There you go, my Shiranui. Find those giant trees again. I'm just, there's gotta be something on top of one of them, right? Are they really Pixel just art is not... Pixel art is not physics? That's fair. I feel like you're splitting hairs at that point because oh, what's that? This must be the spider venom. This talisman will allow me to attack in spider form. There we go. I knew that'd be something on one of those. My name is Shantae. I learned to dance from a radioactive spider, and for <laughs> two whole games, I've been the one and only spider genie. God damn it. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I think you're splitting hairs at that point, because just because it's not actual physics calculation doesn't mean the fact that it, like, it can still have actual physics to it. Like, they're mimicking what would be either in real life or what they have decided physics actually would be. By that same logic that anime physics don't count as physics. But yes, if you're talking 3D calculation, it's gonna be dead or alive. Yep, there we go. Heart holder. So, fun thing. You could actually have used a, uh, a float muffin to get that. Oh. Oh! Wouldn't that cost a couple float muffins, or just nope. one? Just one. It's basically like the, uh, it's basically like all the other power-ups. It's just like, for a limited time, you cannot fall through pits. Alright, what's spider's attack like? Oh god! Two. Nope. I, nope, nope, If you're fast enough, you only need one. <laughs> Before yeah. that, breasts were simply stale. <laughs> it took one brave programmer. <laughs> and then the rest of history was made. Uh, Alright, so here is the million dollar question now. We are it missing- even changed real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Uh, I didn't even trade in the ones at Bandit Town. Uh... Oh, I might as well trade them in here, then. Mm. 
My baby. So the only things we're missing at this point is backtracking to get the remaining squids. Um, which is just three, which is not that bad. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm pretty sure two or maybe all three of them are like in, like in the second room in the they're, dungeon. It's just that you need to fly. Early. Yeah. Can't friend right A B. Like I know for sure that Dribble Fountain is like in the second room, and I'm pretty sure it is the the same for Golem Mine. Yeah. Uh. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go get him. Cause we need to go to the Man Desert anyways, which is the Golem Mine. So we're already gonna be there for that. And we're also already here. Yeah. Uh. Sure. Give me Harpy Attack location too, or at least a vague area for it. I assume it would be somewhere in the desert, because I feel like it's one of the few areas we haven't fully explored. It is not in the desert at all, apparently. Scarecrow Field. Really? Apparently. Oh, should I look at this, or is this going to trigger end-of-game shit? So this must be the legendary spy scope I keep hearing about. Who goes there? Ah, oh, shit, was this final level? Yep. Uh -oh. Eek, what was that? Know that if you wish to look through me, I must first look through you. I certainly hope you mean through my heart or soul or something. Of course that's what I mean. Here now, I see that you wish only to save a peaceful people from a horrible fate at the hands of evil. Look now through the eyepiece and choose your destination. I guess I've got nothing to lose, let's see. That's it. Rescue must be hiding out on that island. By my power, I will send you there. Uh, okay, but if you send me there by magic, how do I get back? Simply stand in my light and you will be returned. Okay. So you found what Mimic would have told you to find. That's fair enough. What is this place? It looks like an enormous Tinker Bat factory. If an entire island of Tinker Bats has been exploring steam technology, I better be ready for anything. By which I mean I'm leaving. Sounds like you found the exit. I of did. The game. Yeah. <laughs> which I did not mean to, because oopsie doodle. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Sorry for the uh, absence. Yeah, we're going to get the remaining uh, items. How'd the uh, end of the dungeon go? Good. That boss fight was weird, considering how you had to fight them. Mm-hmm. Wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, no, that could have been explained way better. Or at all. Yeah. Excuse me while I go look up what that was again. It's the it Knight was. on a Dragon. You have you to have jump the... on it with Harpy. Starting to ring a bell. What happens if we get the harpy, leave the dungeon, go straight to the spyglass? I would assume Risky's boat is in there, so we don't know to go there. Or it doesn't talk to me. Probably also mm -hmm. that. Alright, so somewhere around here. Oh, that boss. Yeah. Yeah, that took some figuring. <laughs> find jump with the harpy, you fly on top of it and then bounce on its head. The yeah, Goomba it's, it's it. the only time that Goomba stomping is in the game. Apparently, which is very silly. Whoa, 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 another one? Oh. How many of these damn floating pyramids are there? Enough. Apparently. The aliens got bored. <laughs> one wasn't enough. I think the genies, their... I think in this case. They had to refine their technique. Alright, we got all hearts. One for each dead pharaoh. You're kind of vague about what exactly Tinkerbats are. Yeah, they're just kind of little, like, inky... Okay. 
things. Not minions. really. Well, because they get explained later on. They're bat. They turn into bats. Well, they have the potential to be even more evil and bad. Uh. All right. Let's make this fast. Which way do we go for each one? So I can't remember if it's in this room over here or if it's down. So I think it's like I think it's like near the very bottom. Uh, the room with the stalactites that the uh, the stalactites that you have to uh, hit into the pool of lava. That's like near. I'm pretty sure that's like near the bottom to the left. Why does Shanta have a Tinker Bat transformation? Because magic. Literally. Yeah. Why does she have a mermaid transformation in a game where the mermaids are evil? Because sexy magic. So down and to the left? Yes. <laughs> because we paid somebody 500 bucks. That too. Should be this room. Yeah, somewhere That looks here. like the one. Yeah. Mermaids aren't evil. They just don't like humans. <laughs> How dare you imply the Tinker Bats aren't sexy? Fair enough. I'm. I'm hmm? sorry. I just don't have a thing for that particular body type. A stick man. If you're into that, cool. You be into that. All right. Oops. I should probably look at the dance we need. Um, well, let's go get the harpy attack. So let's go to uh, let's go to Scuttle Town. Down, up, left, right. Tinkerbats effectively just skin and bones. It's bold of you to assume they have any bones. They have eyes. Whoop, 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 whoop. They're wearing clothing of some kind. This must be the Harpy Talon. This talisman will allow me to attack in Harpy form. Oh, it's clawing. Okay. I mean, what did you think? She I, I guess feathers. Yeah, yeah I was expecting I was feather projectile, through. but I guess... At this point, there's only one projectile, which is the spider, weirdly enough. Yeah, they do the, uh, the heart, the feathers in a later game, I think. Yeah. Damn it, game, I'm in a rush! What's up, chat? How you doing? I've missed you. How much is left? We uh, we might go a little long tonight just to wrap this up. Because we just need to collect uh, the remaining warp squids. And then that's it. We've got everything. Well, other than the tiara, but I'm just not in the mood. I guess we could just quickly cheat and grind that out. Theoretically, you could get the talent before fighting the dragon boss. Sure, but they probably didn't design it thinking that. I think it's this room. Alright, what is gonna be the fastest way to the last dungeon that we haven't that we need one from? Probably water probably Watertown. Unless we get lucky with the caravan. No, the caravan right now is by the uh Yeah, but by it's daytime now. 
Didn't it change to daytime? Yeah, you're, oh, you might be in a new spot. Yeah, I get it. Uh, we can roll them bones. The care, isn't the caravan always in the same place when you warp to it? No. Hmm. Down, up, left, left, A, B. And we are at... Back here at the snail spot. Uh, actually, which sh should be the closest location, right? Because it's... No, no, because it is to the right, isn't it? Because uh, left no, is... It's... Yeah, no, it was to the right. This yeah. is correct. This is the closest spot. If you decide to finish the fight tonight, will you reveal the mod's choices in the next game, or will that be something that you'll keep secret until next week? I'll keep secret until next week simply because I actually haven't decided on it yet. I actually mm. haven't picked theirs yet, I because I thought we had a third stream of Shantae, so I didn't bother figuring it out yet. Did John just get the lucky? We got decently lucky. We didn't get as lucky as we could have been. Yeah, average luck. Like, basically, basically, we saved ourselves one screen than if we just warped to Watertown. But it was a long screen that we haven't traveled at all in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's this this is the screen we need. Problem is, I don't actually think I ever saw that fifth one, so I may need someone to point it out where it is. Okay. Okay, so we need the uh, room with all the slopes. Which is... I believe it's... I believe it's down and to the right. It's down and then back up and to the right. It's over here, yeah. Yeah. I, I meant to switch the monkey, but again, <laughs> I picked the wrong one. So here. And Kokampi's gone again. Oh, don't tell me my whole internet's gone. Are you guys still there? Yeah. Uh, I can okay, thank you. God, because chat wasn't even moving for a second. I got a little scared. Uh. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Ooh, hi. Yeah, I can see how I would have missed that. Jesus. So, that was real. So, you are down. You went down and then back up. Oh, son of a so, bitch. Now we have to edit this together? God damn it. <laughs> the fuck's so going it, on? So, it was really funny on, on our end because you said, uh, did I go down? No, you're still here. Oh, thank God. And then you left. Mm. Of course. Ooh, that was clo- Don't do that, I can't take that right now. <laughs> That's so mean, don't do that right now. Uh. Alright, what's the fastest way back to Bandit Town? Uh, leave here, I guess. Because I think it would be more annoying to fly through the uh, mud bog area. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are we missing still? We have all the fireflies. We have all we're the not missing holders. anything That's anymore. The... Well, we're missing the tiara. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I found the squid. Sorry. Uh, are you seriously? Did we? If that did not get captured on, on stream, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. So you show you. I think it came back when you were in the arena. Uh, yes, we got it. What the fuck? No. 
Yeah, so when you asked if you were down, like as I was I was about to say, just like we can still hear you, but the, the stream just died and then you left. That's real I have no idea what happened. My computer did not lose internet as far as I can tell. But I have People dropped say, frames, so something fucking happened. People say that they saw where it was, but they didn't see you actually get it. Peachy. Wait, I know what you're missing. You're missing all of the stones. Womp womp. Did you receive the microwave? I would assume your computer is wired instead it's of... It's wired, wired, yeah. Wired. Matter. Yeah. So I don't know if that means, well, because OBS went down too, so the Cocon feed went down, which suggests that it was something on my side. It should mean it was actually my internet that went down, but that's really fucking weird that it would go down for a second. Considering you didn't even have time to acknowledge it went down, not even with us. Yeah, hopefully that means the, uh... Xsplit saved the uh, the footage and barely lost anything. Because Xsplit re keeps recording after the internet dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Where's the turn I'm supposed to take again for for Bandit Town? I fucking forgot. Uh, you can just go over the mountain. mountain. It's after the screen. It's after the screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pass the dungeon and then go down on the other side. Wait a second, fly back up, we need to do Tinker Bound. Oh shit, you're right! I forgot as, until right after you did that, I'm like, oh no. Down, up, B, or is that health? Down, up, up, I believe. Apparently I got that completely wrong. Yep, down, up, down, up, up. Whee! <laughs> ah! Ye, ye. Ah! I'm so happy when he's climbing. <laughs> ah, that's the charge move. Is he? He has a, a battering ram. That's hilarious. Motherfucker! The oh, only I the mountain again. <laughs> I get it. It's the battering ram that they use in uh, Burning Town. For the, uh, for the, uh, oh, what are they called? The, like, uh, going back in it, in and out blocks. The battering ram? No, the... I mean, yeah, that's what no. the battering ram is from, but yeah, I mean... The battering like, ram the is, yeah, moving it. spaces back and forth, so yeah, that's right. Uh... Oh, compared to this harpy, Shantae's sprite has absolutely... No waste problems whatsoever. This harpy is like held together with paper. I mean, there's also the fact that her boob doesn't move at all. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> now you've gone to fly backwards. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's the bog. Yeah, the Apparently spider the spider sliding animation, animation was, was cool. a little disappointing. I was looking away for the second and a half it was happening. God, I hate these Instacust works! And it never gets fixed. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not as bad in the other games, because you don't have to fucking re-go through an entire fucking giant room. It'll, yeah, and also the lives are gone, so it's more of a just, you just go back to the start of the room or something. Yeah, it's not as punishing because the rooms are way smaller. Mm-hmm. Playing the GB version? No, we're on the Switch version doing this, the GBA yeah, enhancement. This is the, yeah, this is the Switch version, but it's the G, it's the original game with color game, yeah. Do you expect harpies to have giant tits? They need to be able to fly? Yeah, but they're hollow! Duh. I'm not talking about them being giant, I'm talking about how it's literally not moving. Like, as she flaps, like, her boob is Sports bra, dude. Like, stationary. 
Earth's Because it's hollow. It's it's just gas. Like the air around it. There's no weight to bounce. I think they'll come feed froze again. <laughs> no, no, I just not. wasn't moving. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Sorry, I got a message from Reese. He was disappointed in us. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Alright, last dance. Down up A, left A, right. Wow. That's the tricky one. Wouldn't okay. that make them more like a balloon and bounce more? Y your only thing about balloons is if you're holding them at one point. Why are like we having this discussion? <laughs> <laughs> Just say have you ever, bird have, sports bra. Have you bra. ever seen a balloon? Have you ever seen a balloon bird that's only like bra. half <laughs> half a sphere? That's a really awkward shape Brian, balloon, bird sports so bra. Probably not. <laughs> yes. Down up, right, right, A, B. What are we talking about? The, the uh, sprite being weird, but we're moving on. Uh, okay. So let's go save. How much money do we have currently on hand? 71. Up, Davey. Yeah, it should be two or maybe three runs of Gecko Chamber if we like yeah. win when they're one away. All right. In the interest of having this end, I'm I'm save save scumming because otherwise it would be rebooting the game and that would just waste time at this point. This is just me saving time. Motherfucker. Didn't need to be day. Yep. The geckos are all asleep. Read any good books lately? God damn it. Uh, yeah. I want to. I want to get to the point where I can read in Japanese at a pretty decent clip. So supposedly the uh, Shantae art book is supposed to release today, but T uh, today? there's no confirmation about that. Yeah. Why today? Mm -hmm. That's the uh, date that uh, Udon Entertainment is giving, and... Uh, Honestly, more looking like a placeholder sprite because they never made a tweet about it. <laughs> yeah. I would like to see that art book, but I didn't know it existed, so I didn't buy it. What, what happens, happens if you do the zombie the caravan warp dance? You probably show up, you leave, and then you can't go back in. No, you show up and it turns to the night. Uh, oh, the Amazon joy of day-night cycles. Now. Amazon says the 24th now, then it changed when it realized it wasn't coming out today. Because it still said that yesterday. There's a new there 3D go. Donkey Kong being made by Mario Odyssey devs? Where'd you hear that? Yeah, or are that's... Are you asking, would we like that? Because if you're just asking about a leak, that is BS. We can't... Like, that's- that- a, a league is not news. Alright, remake that save. We need 900 gems. Evil Just a mask rumor, man. not even a leak. Got it. Ty, go again. Ty, go again. Yeah. My eyes will flash with rage. He's in a leak of vegetable. Yes.
Royal, I'm positive it was the it said the 22nd yesterday. Alright, well we won that one. I didn't think it kicked me out of the building, Jesus. You took our money, get out. Welcome! Would you like to play? Welcome, new galaxy. <laughs> They're not taking much of a cut, or well I guess they take the five gems, right? No, because that's that's the starting pot. Ah how are they still open? <laughs> we made that joke, they don't they're not open in any other game. Yeah. There's no music anymore. It's just so that we can focus on what's really important. The geckos. Shit. I don't think we're winning this one. I mean, you can save state right now. It's not predetermined. It's not that predetermined. Well, this might also work out because we might get more gems because it's taking longer. I don't know if I keep doing that. I mean, against a five, that was pretty good. Getting the tie. Against yeah. a one, maybe not. Look at the background. They made Seriously? a killing on the merchandising. That's fair. Yeah, a lot of people are here to see this. Gecko climbing. That shouldn't <laughs> have happened. <laughs> you know what? I am actually going to take your advice. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Well done. Good timing. And restore. Are you sure this isn't predetermined? <laughs> yes. That was just on you. See? <laughs> it's different. <laughs> but the future refused to change. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe you managed to get the exact same one when we first tried this. Yeah, me and the AI each picked the same damn roll. 700. One more. Like, that is actually a moment of only you, John. Uh... Oh, I haven't bought this guy yet. Hello, third faceless man. There. Now we have music, because I waited through the jingle. Really? Mm. Oh boy. Let's get goes know when it's time for them to crawl. Oh god. They're very well trained. Two eighty. Mm hmm. Yeah, but remember that's that's also counting money I put in. Ah, right. All right, there we go. We should have enough. So we only we only had this scum once. That's actually not that bad. Yeah. Alright, the dance we need. Up, down, right, left, A, B. What? <laughs> Wait, go back. Return to monkey. monkey. What? What am I doing wrong? Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Wait, there go we go. I want to be small. I was doing up down instead of down up. Store. Let's check in with Bolo. I'm sure he's got many important things to say. 
All right, let's see the tiara before and after. So this is the before. Maybe after gives you the jewel. That would make sense. Gotta sit through all this counting down. And just enough for a vial too. Shantae, where did you get all this money? Yeah, Cat it's goes. the jewel. What did you say, the geckos? Yeah. Alright, bathhouse. Oh, it's so convenient, an outdoor bathhouse. Whoa, okay. That looks even more dangerous. A little bit. Because now you're just committed to a jump arc, too. <laughs> At the same speed. Surprised you didn't keep the money for the healing spell? I guess it's technically a little bit more, but we... Eh. eh like, this, this still gives me a fair amount for 75, but yeah, no, I get your logic. Okay, so... Like, it's uh, a difference of two hearts. Oasis Town, which I probably should have looked up the dance before I started dancing. Plus an item you can Down use up, in right, right one in. moment. A dance, you have to sit there and wait. Alright, how much is left to the game at this point? I think you're done. <laughs> no, I mean like... Like, how long is the final dungeon? Not much. An hour? Wait, really? seriously? Probably. An hour? Dude, I thought there was like 10 minutes left. I don't want to stay, I don't want to stay going for another hour. Okay, more people are saying 30 minutes tops. Mm, that's still longer than I want. Chat, how you feeling about this? We're down to 9.23 right now. Definitely more than 10 minutes. Yeah, I think, I think, I think doing this and then starting up the next game would be fine for next stream. Yeah, because we still have hard block. Um, yeah, let's put up a poll. Give me a poll, let's see how people are feeling. I'm thinking one last stream is the way to go, but I'm, you know, it looks like chat may be agreeing with me here. Right, let's see what chat wants. And since some people are saying keep art block in consideration, art block is currently a little less than a page. Duplexing all of you into bed. But what if I'm already in bed? My bed's over there, but it's only 5 p.m. I don't want to go to bed yet. Go to bread? But I don't have enough bread. I only have one slice left. Seems like chat is pretty well determined too. It's yeah, it's it's, it's over two, two, to two one. thirds say go to bed or one more stream. Yeah, there you go, sixty-eight percent. Yeah, all right, that's what we'll do. Then we'll do one last stream. Yeah, I I legit thought like fifteen minutes left was what I expected. It'll be kind of funny if it is that long when we start it next time. Well, here's the question though. So so Shantae has multiple endings, right? Like. Are we- we are getting the 100% ending, like we don't have to have our inventory for items full, right? It's just everything else? Does Shantae have- does Shantae have multiple endings? 
Someone, I thought someone said that this had multiple endings, but I don't know if they were talking about a different Shantae. No multiple endings here, okay. There's only one ending in this game. Okay. Okay. That works then. All right. Yeah, everyone and, uh, after this has multiple endings with different bikini picks based on whatever you did. Yeah. Well, no, there are actual multiple endings in a uh, in like two of them. Yeah. Maybe three. I looked at another let's play. He did this. He did it in less than twenty minutes, but he probably knew what he was doing. I don't. So yeah, we'll we'll call it. So it's gonna be really short then next week. It'll be a really short ending to Shantae, and then we'll start whatever the next game ends up being. All right. Yeah, Pirate's Curse and Half Genie have the multiple ones. I don't know if Risky's Revenge has it or not. I don't think so, though. Consensus does seem to be 30 minutes-ish. Okay. Cool. All right, then we'll call it here. We'll wrap that up next Monday. Hang on, let me double check. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, next Monday happens. Uh, it is the fifth that might not happen because I get my shot, my second booster shot uh, on the third. Lucky. And... Will you get a free stake after you get stabbed? No, sadly. Oh. I'm going to use my stabbing as an excuse to get another stake. Could finish off the game, then mess with debug mode a tiny bit. That does sound fun. We could We could check that out. Actually, yeah, that does sound fun. So yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'll use this week to figure out what the hell the next game's gonna be from the mod list. It, it, the top, oh, the, theme, the theme is anything goes, so really it could be any of the games. We could also show a bit more of the extras. We only really showed off the maps. That's true, too. Well, I mean, we I think I flipped through the whole thing quickly, but yeah. Ah! Is July's episode of Disco only getting pushed back a week so you can recover from your second jab? It's gonna depend entirely on how I feel, but likely. Alright, we're gonna talk, giving a sub to Unsanity Live, Wild Torterra for 41, Ziggy, Ziggy HFX for 25, One Weird Cat for 14, Wizorin for 11, Seesaw 24 for 48. Nice double. Uh, Zykrill for new, and Philip Draco for 21. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Also, I'm just gonna quickly read Donos in case I do need to. No, I don't need to. Sweet. Alright. Nice. Then we are super caught up. Let's two eggs. Oh no. Oh no. I'm scared of that second one. Uh, game fan with... She's coming for you. I can already guess what this is going to be. But, um, look, I Peach. Look. It's one of my greatest achievements. Wow. Yep. Wow. And the one I'm scared of, Philip Draco with Jonte tries out a new dance she learned. An oh egg. no. Not a helpful transformation, really. <laughs> nice. Very nice, you two. Well done, B-Master. Well, well done, Draco. I got, also, a little con I got a little concerned when I saw this giant area panned out to here. I'm like, that's a lot of room. <laughs> uh, someone was asking, like, when the next one be John's choice for the next cycle. No, uh, Shantae was just moved it. Uh, the sub choice was moved in front of Shantae. Yeah, we because Shantae was in the mail, so I had to wait for it to arrive, and that fucked up everything. So we've done normally it's my choice, sub choice, mod choice. This time around we did sub choice, my choice, mod choice, and then after mod choice we're back in order. What even is the next rotation? I forget what even called the next rotation. I know two of them, but I don't want to say which one because I don't know if they've all been revealed ah, or not. I don't know if I've said this one yet or not. All right, well that's that's good to know. Okay, yeah. So 
next rotation will, will be interesting. John forgets, John forgets what the theme is and tries to think of what it is. That was actually it. That was it. Yeah, Demolition Democracy's not for a while. That's uh, three rotations from now. Alright, let's queue up Art Block. Art Block is all... Yep, one page. And it starts right here. With this lovely Jante. From Phoenix01, As I said before, I finished that Jante sketch from last week. I want to give some space vibes for the background, and you can faintly see some stars printed on the clothes. Finished it all just now at, looks like clock. Why is it 1.15 a.m.? Oh no. Sorry, Phoenix Girl, but the art is very lovely. You did an amazing job on this. Thank you so much. She looks lovely. I love the sparkly effect too. Especially on, on the whole outfit there, like the stars around the hips and that, and on the bra, nice touch. And on the fans. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I didn't even see it on the, the veil too, nice. It's also transparent. Very nicely done. Already saw that. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I skipped this one and went to the the, the uh, Firefly one for some reason. The final product of my early post, people in chat for the Shantae stream Monday uh, will know I get super cringy seeing that post during the art segment before it got seen, so this goes to show you stick with it and it will turn out amazing. Thank you for the, jo the Jante art, Fire Kitty. It's very cute. Next up, <laughs> I saw this during <laughs> yep. during countermeasures and I laughed. It was really good. Here's Risky just sitting in bed. Man, spank that one extra hard for mommy. <laughs> <laughs> no one is immune Stupid to remembering embarrassing moments from five years ago, especially when it's related to someone you have a crush on. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Stupid, is... sexy, Risky. Wait, that's is... me. Yeah, this is so good, Grease. This is great. That line is so dumb, but yeah, that's perfect. Next up from Ed Mario. So I was going to originally edit Spider Shante Sprite, but it's so simple, it was actually almost impossible to do. So have Rosa John spin a rack instead. Cool. Nice. Thanks. Spider Shante in the original game. Spider Shante in the new games. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really hard to find a good picture of that bottom chick that doesn't break TOS, but still shows her entire form. Mm -hmm. Seriously though, the difference between the spider form and the, uh, from the, in the games is huge, and yes, this is official Shantae font. Neat. Thank you, Ed. Next up. Excuse me, were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears! I'm sorry. He's dead. Don't worry, every member of the chat is prepared to give their lives for the intermission. This is in re response to the egg earlier that was extremely loud. Good old Psychonauts. I'm excited for the second game. Next up, ooh! Bomber. From Zero J. This is an idea I've been kicking around since we finished Bomberman Generation. Namely, uh, jumping straight into Shantae made me think of what a Shantae bomber would look like. Or bomb Tay, as I Mario put it. Love this. The sharp, the sharp angles on the hair and everything look really good. This, adorable. This is ah! super well done. <laughs> this is a super cool concept, Zero J. I fucking love this. Hell yeah. Next up from Becky Star. Looks like it's all of our characters from the Minecraft Hardcore series that's going on in Normal Boots. So I decided to draw every member of Normal Boots in their Minecraft skin. Since it involves John, I figured this is okay to put up. I hope you like it, and have a great night. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, nice to see some uh, fan art of the Normal Boots hardcore. I also owe a small apology because uh, I thought the other video would have gone up by now. Uh, it was a new Game Tears, but, or Gamer Tears, but I think it got delayed because we were planning on doing a stream and that also got delayed, so. I'll tell you when it's going up, when I, when I know for sure. So I really like the art, but because of the background, I seriously thought that you just had no legs. <laughs> the I am magic ghost. legs. The magic legs. Thank you, Becky. Next up, from Tiger. Wiggle. Bandit Town Bathhouse Girl is cute. I somehow interpreted her as wearing pajamas. Mm. It's the hat. It's definitely the hat. That does look like a hat for a sleeping hat. 
Yeah, I can see that. Cute. Thank you, Tiger. I would. They they all cute. Next up, from Ace Kage. So I think this is what. Uh, so this is what I think Shantae's mom looks like based on the genies from Half Genie Hero. Apparently, there's is one person who mentions what Shantae's mom looks like. Risky. Risky says that Shantae looks like her mom but shorter. Oh yeah, she does say that. Mm hmm. Interesting concept. I'm wondering what. I'm wondering if they're ever actually going to fully do the reveal. But I also wonder how many more Shantae games there will be. So I'm curious both ways. Thanks, Kage. Next up, chest. <laughs> Natural vitamins. From Portal Cat. Here's Nurse Rosa John endorsing the newest product from PK Industries. Really? Chesticles. The all-natural boob vitamins. Tired of ingesting all the chemicals found in the numerous forms of tiger brew? Try all-natural chesticles. With a pr proprietary blend of 69 natural compounds, chesticles brings you that chest enhancement that you crave. Available in male and female formulas for all your gender reaffirmation re needs. Feminine blend is sugary star bit flavored and masculine version is caramel flavored. Buy them today. Buy caramel specifically. Huh. Cool. Uh-oh. Hi. Have I taken Hi, too kitty. long? Is this the sign I've taken too long? You are here now. Hi, kitty. Hi, come on up. Hi, buddy. Oh, mister. Oh, mister. I think you might need to shop around on the name a bit, Cat, but I, the product sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah, you gotta have something that that suggests it, but it's a little less blatant. Hmm. No investor would no investor would go for it. Hi. Hi. Next up, we got a harpy. Had to switch my internet to my phone to upload this. Buru mad for some reason. Hope it fixes itself soon. Anyways, do you think Harpy's preen? Totally. Gotta keep their feathers clean. Uh-huh. Right, buddy? Bagel, do you preen your fur? You're cleaning yourself right now. Same thing. Thank you, Dad. Uh, next up, there's a lovely Jante from Cole. Here's something a bit different. Wanted to try my luck at more human-like characters, so here's my take on Jante. This is a combination of Germany's original interpretation uh, and, and Shantae's concept art for Seven Sirens. Want to go for that sketch-colored look? I do find a certain charm to having slight imperfections to a drawing, even if it might be a way for me to cope with any minor mistakes I noticed from this piece. It's fun being a perfectionist. Looks good, dude. Well done. I take it Cole just realized another mistake because right in the chat says, fuck. I, I think he realized the, the, the mistake in the message, which is why I paused when I was trying to read what he said there. Oh. <laughs> the combination of Jumny's original interpretation of Jumny. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, there you go. This was Jumny's original interpretation of John Tay. This is Jum Tay. <laughs> Jummy, how Jumny, how do you interpret yourself? <laughs> Next up from Rhyme is Sleepy Time John Tay. I'm hitting sleepy mode, so John Tay is too, because it feels fitting to draw PJ John Tay. Although I feel like she would wear old t shirts. Like that Garfield one, the one I own. What does it say? I'd like Mondays better if they started later. That's fair. I agree. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, also, it's Tuesday. Also, I'm currently wearing that Garfield shirt, so when drawing this picture, I just turn it upside down and drew what I saw. <laughs> Nicely done, Rhyme. This is super cute. I love the way you draw Jante. I also like how she's just completely wrapped up in sheets and then looks completely pissed off that she's wrapped up in sheets like, fuck, I can't sleep. Mister. Mister. I need my hands free, but you demand pets. Pet the kitty. Next up. From Rosie. Hey, Catsworth, how's it going, buddy? We're wrapping up, but... Thanks for the raid. I'll dunk countermeasures in a minute for you. Yeah, I like tan also, so official outfit, I guess? There you go. This is Rosie's uh, hoodie hoodie shirt dress design. Yeah, the hoodie dress design that they did for Rosa. It's very nice. Hi. Catsworth, which one do you want? You want classic or 8-bit? 
You want original or 8-bit? Which one do you want? I'm gonna give you the option. Choose Christmas. Choose Christmas! Uh, I guess Christmas is also an option. I think I have to set up Christmas, though. I was joking. <laughs> From Ed Mario. Jonte is really fed up with this game's bullshit. Good edit, though. Looks good. And the last picture I have here on Art Block is, uh... Oh, it's Pommy Dragon, his bagel, and his sour cream. Looks like our little bagel is making friends no matter where he goes. As a final tribute to Bomberman Generation, hearing about Bagel's new friend, have the trio of Sour Cream, Bagel, and Pommy Dragon all stacked up in a Wee Bear Bears tower ready to hit the town. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Disillusion. Uh, let's... Let's do Mini Raid. Yeah, let's do... You know what? Fuck it. Let's do Christmas. It actually is not that hard to set up. Wow, it's already done. Yeah. I told you it wasn't that hard to set up. I honestly just wanted to hear Freeze Easy Peak. I should have known. Merry Christmas, Catsworth. Because I also just like... Ah! I'm going to completely forget that this is set to Christmas next time I press this button. I can already tell. <laughs> Alright, we had three last pictures sneak in at the end here from Ed Mario. So this was originally going to be Rosa John edit of Chris from Pokemon Crystal, but it ended up looking just like normal John instead. Yeah, it kind of does, actually. Huh. I watched UF UHF yesterday. It was great. It's such a good movie. It's such a fun movie. Mm -hmm. It's now my uh, traditional April Fool's Day movie. Harpy Sisters! Doesn't know whether to be flattered or insulted. <laughs> Currently coloring this, but there's basically no way to be done in time before our block ends. Jonte attempts Harpy Solidarity. I don't know if Goose appreciates it. She's probably a little annoyed, but at the same time is like, ah, she's trying. There's, there was an attempt. Thanks, Tiger. And the last picture oh. I have here for real looks to be... a color edit of, uh, of Risky. I think I got in before the message. Or there is none. Yep, there is no message. There you I go. did Come like on. that for for Half Genie Hero. Uh, they added in the uh, the original risky like uh, coloring. I think it was a Kickstarter exclusive until Ultimate though. Something like that. Along waiting. with a uh, blue outfit. Mister, your stomach's in a weird spot. Are you okay? You're just lying down in a weird way. Alright, folks, what is our raid message? Schedule for the week, uh, tomorrow, aka Tuesday, we're doing the first Coliseum Chaos Fortune Cookie bonus stream. That is around 7 p.m. my time, which is Mountain, 9 p.m. Eastern. It might be a little later, might be a little earlier. Uh, but we'll be doing 10 games tomorrow. The 10 games we're doing are Grand Theft Auto V, The Pirates of Darkwater for the Genesis, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. I don't know what platform I have that on. I think that's. I think I have that on GameCube. I think it's on GameCube. Uh, Vitamin Connection for Switch. Egg Elemental Gimmick Gear for the Dreamcast. Muramasa the Demon Blade. I assume it's the Wii one, because I think I only other otherwise have them Vita. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories for PlayStation 1. Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition for the PS4. And Jack 2 for the PS2. Will there be Art Block tomorrow? No. There will not be an Art Block tomorrow, and I probably also won't do Eggs. Because uh, we have to do 10 games tomorrow for a half hour each. So that is by default. <laughs> that is by default without any break at all. That is five hours. I'll still read Donos. And uh, I think I'm going to do the art, the uh, break setup I usually do for game clearing. Which is every three games, every 90 minutes, I take a proper break. So we'll do something like that. If you post stuff on Twitter, I will retweet it. And on normal stream, I will show them as well. But... 
And that one's up to you. So wait, this is tomorrow? Yes, this is Tuesday. Wednesday does not have a stream. We're moving the Wednesday stream to Tuesday. Uh, which means Wednesday there's nothing. Thursday is the finale of Super Adventure Island 2 on YouTube. And Top Down Respect of our usual podcast. Friday is my day off. And Saturday is not Fortune Cookie. It will be... Sorry, bud. Yeah, I'm just sorry. Don't talk to the calendar. Uh, it will be something else instead, which I think we'll get... In, I think it's officially announced Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. What are we... I saw Bird Sports Bra. I saw Sexy Spider. Monkey. Monkey. And Shantae returned to Monkey. Legally distinct space princess. Let's see who is live. There were, okay. there were buttons. We can do... How long until we get a new TRG video? Uh, so, I'm gonna be real with you. I have no fucking clue why there was no video up on the weekend. I'm gonna be real with you. Hmm. I was busy that day, and then when I realized it, I was like, ah. Uh, weird. Because I know the next... Let's play is ready. Here, I'll, I'll do you guys a solid. Let me look and see if the next one's uploaded now. Since I can just switch into the TRG account. Wait, you have access to that account? Shocking, I know. <laughs> uh, no, nothing's uploaded yet. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. It is. It just wasn't showing up for some reason. Uh, oh, that's how they're doing it. Interesting. Okay. Whoo, this is going to be interesting. All right. Well, I can tell you this. New Let's Play on The Runaway Guys starts on Saturday. Ooh. I guess they decided to just wait a week. I don't know why, but there you go. Some of you have seen me play this game before. That's the hint you get. It's Shantae. Oops, sorry. Ah, son of a bitch. Let's go read my buddy Paul with Bird Sports Bra. Johnny, we've played many games. Exactly. I'm not going to mm -hmm. narrow it down. John, that could literally be any video game ever. Well, good news. If you guessed every video game ever, that technically means you're right. I mean, Joker, he didn't say that it can't be a game they have, that they haven't played. Just that it's just specified that John has played it. Oh, no. Do I even want to know what that means? I get the feeling if Chante was coming up, it probably wouldn't have come up on uh, game clearing. Yeah. So close. Back to back. All right. Give Paul some love. He's trying out that new uh, what that means. Dark Alliance. He's confused about a bird sports bra. As you would be. <laughs> As we all are. Oh, crap. Well, so much for pausing, right, I guess. It makes sense to me. <laughs> the creator of it, a lot about Thank it. you for the raid. I mean, right. I'll see you guys tomorrow for, uh, game for a right very, now. very stacked so, stream bear tomorrow. Bear with me while I try to... Night, everybody. Slowly... Bagel, no, no, bagel! Oh. Don't, don't.
don't be yelled at. He's actually sleeping on my lap right now. I want him to wake up. Disappoint!